Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Season 2 Tournament DK64 Randomizer.com. I swear I said it in a different order every time. Very cool. I am Larock. I will be on the mic for you today. And uh, joining me is one and only Rydog. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm excited to see the scene. This is going to be an exciting one because we've got a crazy matchup once again. We have hit the top six. We have the top six candidates in our bracket, and two of them are going to be on stream today. We've got Danny, and we got Kuiper. It's going to be a good one. The, uh, the run of a lifetime for Danny. He came into this tournament as the 20 seed, and to get here, he has certainly <laughs> he's certainly made his case for the top six with who he's beaten. He has beaten uh, uh, Andrea into Etiquette, big win, into Shady, big win, before falling to Connor in winner semis, and that's how he got here. Kuiper's path to get here, on the other hand, was through Kaipi into Generic Dude, who made top 8, before falling to Camerson, who made top 8. And then he ran a gauntlet of, and losers of Spike, the Australian one, and, and Barry, into getting to this point in the top 6. Crazy. It, it's honestly crazy that uh, Danny has made it so far being seated as 20th, but it really does show how close a lot of our runners are. It really does. These guys are no slouches. And uh, any given seed, the seed is certainly not a... Uh, it's not a gimme. Um, doing a little bit of uh, looking into the past. They don't have a ton of history with, the, with each other recently. Most of the history comes in the qualifiers, which, uh, well, you can you may guess by the seeding. Kuiper the 3 seed, Danny the 20 seed. Kuiper was 3-0 uh, against Danny in all of those qualifiers. So, who knows? But you play qualifiers differently. Um, and uh, it's been a while since the qualifiers. It's been like a month or two. So, a lot of grinding has happened since. And Danny is certainly no slouch. Yep. And looking at their start, not a bad start. I'd be pretty happy with this one. What do you make of it? Uh, at least their starting date. The DK and Bongos is very good for starts. Uh, Simeon Spring and Cyperscope aren't really that helpful, but you know. <laughs> Definitely not ideal. Spring tells me that I'm checking Isle Snides, like, 100%. If nothing's yeah. there, I'll be shocked. That is a classic something good is here whenever you get Spring early, regardless. We'll see what they do, though. <laughs> we're, we're about to head into what I can only assume will be yet not another classic prison start. But, uh, I won't tell. So today, we have one uh, Losers Top 6 matchup. Our other Losers Top 6 top six is going to be Wednesday. So, that will be Wednesday evening. Don't want to miss that. You want to keep an eye on speedrun, or DK speedruns. Or, uh, wait. DK64 speedruns. That's the channel name. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Uh, and you'll catch that. That will be Tudos and Camerson. The winner of that match will get the winner of this one. So, uh, if you are interested in how the tourney is panning out, we got some star studded lineups coming. And then soon enough, I'm not sure when this is going to get scheduled, but soon enough, we'll have the winner's finals between uh, Connor and Riley. That's going to be a, a absolute barn burner of a matchup. That will come, I'm guessing, this week. It's not scheduled yet, but it, it will probably come sometime within a week or so. If you want to know for certain when all the action is, you head on down to discord.dk64randomizer.com. It's a good time here. You'll see when the events are, when the restreams will be announced, or when the restreams are coming in the events. It'll be good. Come on down. Good times. Yeah, Riley went on vacation or something at some, like, fancy little charity event or something, whatever it was, you know. Charity. <laughs> Couldn't be us. No matter, we are seconds away from starting moments away they will get into the seed and we will discover where all of our items are oh and off they go thereabouts i gotta refresh the streams we're gonna be pretty close actually i think kuiper started early how dare he <laughs> he just reset he just paused paused and reset a little bit <laughs> cheeky cheeky danny's running straight to the isle snides to see what we got here it's actually a blueprint okay i'm shocked got me Kyber doing the classic prison start, though. Let's see what we got. Just GB number one. 
Love that. Nothing in the prison cage either. All right, our standard fare of uh, Isles checks. We got uh, the dirt under the caves here. And then they're kind of running out of real estate for checks. Ooh, a rainbow coin. Training grounds. Boom. Danny choosing to steal the GB out of the prison cage. I kind of like this. This is really fast to do, and GBs are pretty good value. You just have to make the timer with a roll, which isn't too bad. Mm. A little bit slow, and he decides it's not worth it to go again, so... Unfortunate, but nothing big. Oh, no. I've always struggled with that entire skip. Ever since it's been discovered, I've been trying to get it down consistently, and it's just never worked for me. I feel like it's really into the first roll. Chunky K yeah. roll. We got a key! We also got a boss. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> we got a boss for key four. <laughs> Look at that. And the mills have something. Those dastardly mills. Danny doing the backflip trick. That, funny enough, it was Kuiper who found that. Nothing in the back of the training grounds. Foolish. Japes Stormy Tunnel. Not a large area. Not a great one. Uh, I didn't see anything in Isles Cranky. Uh, something forced Foolish. I wasn't paying attention. I swear, if that's center, I'm going to be kind of mad. I think it... I couldn't tell. He clicked out of it super fast. Well, he probably caught it when he was, like, flipping up or something. Actually, he might have just not seen it. Is he not doing the bongo pad? Ooh. Interesting. He might be Bongo's wanting more information. Hmm. Certainly pretty good. Okay, so forest. It would be foolish to explore the forest. Center and beanstalk. All right, well... I swear, there is something about the center and beanstalk that just ends up being dead and it kills the bean. It is just the saddest thing ever. How does this keep happening? Oh, no. Let's see if Kuiper recalls the, uh... Let's see if Kuiper recalls the, uh... The Bongo's pad. He also forgets! That's, uh... That's a little awkward. <laughs> Let it be known, it happens to the best of us. I guess so. I... I'm not gonna lie. If Chad didn't oh. mention it, I might have forgotten it too. Chat stays I winning. Okay, Wait, here we go. Buys nine, or... I think I read it wrong. I think it was Linky Pie's Tiny and I was drop. Where? What hint? I missed it. It wasn't hinted, it was just peaked. Chunky's held by yeah, a Tiny buys Linky. Uh, tiny buys Linky in the Isle Shop? Oh, that's actually enormous. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. So they gotta find Tiny. That's, that's bigly, but they found Chunky in caves, so we found a Kasplat in caves, which is almost certain to get. What is it, a 80%? Uh, I, I think, think it's, it's 60. 60, who am I missing? Oh, yeah, 60, yeah. They don't have RBB, so there's no way to get the one on Lanky platform. Yeah, and they can't get the one in the uh, the mini cave over here. Oh, it's a Kasplat in Japes. All right, well, that's what I get for reading. The reading comprehension day is, is rocky. Wow. Oof. Tiny shot, or tiny is a violin funkies. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We haven't seen Jabe, so we don't know where Chunky is. Chunky might come late, but we're really interested in where Tiny is, because we can get lengthy with Tiny. That's big time. Even if you don't need lengthy, if you know where your Kong is, it's like almost certainly a good idea to get it, just purely for just like GB volume, right? You're more likely to be able to do more checks if you have more Kongs, right? It's just as simple as that. Yeah. As funny as it is to skip a Kong, normally it tends to bite you because just you just miss out on so many GB checks. Hyper, remembering he has bongos, runs to the rotating cabin. Right, are we being too mean? I think we're being a little mean. What do we got in the rotating cabin? Nothing of interest. How about on the arena? Ooh, nice pearl. Wait, what is that? Oh my god, it's the bean and he's not gonna do it because it's foolish! Kuiper! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. We we're on a roller coaster for this bean, and it's just been It's been five minutes and our all our bean information has been exhausted. The bean hype is just in and out, in an instant. There's key two, I can't even get hyped for it. Unbelievable. 
Great. We don't even know where our key two hint is, which is kind of weird. Which kind of suggests to me that key four is going to be like on one of these first two bosses, maybe. Like, you have to check the cave's boss. Checking the cave's boss is crazy now. Because you don't have a key two hint, you found key two, which means some other key is accessible. And that key will unlock the hint that gives you information on where key two is. Yeah. Uh, nothing crazy on our caves trip early. I didn't see what the factory GB cost was, but it must be relatively high if they're sticking around. Although, I guess checking the boss is important. Fortunately, they have it hinted, so it's not a total disaster. Or it would be, it would be uh, certainly foolish to avoid it. I don't know. There's, there's also a reason to try and just keep clearing uh, caves, at least to Igloo, to check the bongos. Because they can make the jump. That's a good call, too. I don't know if they can make the jump, but they should be able to just do the maze. Oh, Diddy's gotta move here. Here we go, finally got some action. Oh my. What a sound on his bongos. God, the custom music in this game is so good. Well, that's... And that's a move, alright. That's monkey port. Oh. Love that. Need that, for sure. Uh, it's worth the nine coins you paid for it. Once again, someone else skipping the bean? I can't believe this. <sighs> if it wasn't foolish, it's also 43 seconds. Like, you're not gonna throw away 43 seconds in a race for a meme. As tempting as it is. As tempting as it is, yeah. they are men of speed. They are not men of the people, which is... <sighs> breaks my heart, but here we are. Maybe the Igloo well, makes up for putting, it. If we just start putting Bean as a helm door, then we just have to start getting it, right? Here we go. Now we're cooking. Every seed's a bean seed. Does it lose the value if every seed is a bean seed? I don't know, Chad. What would know. you make of every seed being a bean seed? Would the bean no longer be special? Or would it just be a, a magic bean? I guess it already is kind of a magic bean. Wait, wrong game. Hang on. Hyper not even bothering to check the strong calling Igloo because it's not in logic, which kind of makes sense. He's just headed to... well, I guess he's going to go get some more hints. He can check level 3. What do we got here? Here's Forest. We still don't know where Japes is, so that's a little scary. R&D key 5. Uh, production key 5. Oh, wow. He also did not check the boss, which is kind of crazy. Yeah... Main caves to key oh, no, eight. We didn't find anything there. Interesting. Tiny is held by a Kasplatin factory. Here's some good info. We're going to factory for sure now. Yeah. Caves Funky Tiny. Okay, so that move they see on Funky is way to hoard. They can't do yeah. it, but it's very important. Oh, we're gonna see a. Uh... Oh yeah. Igloo check. I like what Danny did there. He played the instrument to kill the Kasplan on the top of the igloo and then just ran into the igloo he just opened. Very efficient. While Kuiper was uh, enjoying uh, climbing the igloo, which is all sorts of stupid. Oh, we got something in here. This is nice. This is nice. Is this gonna like cut some uh, cut some G or cut some uh, cut an item out of a path or something? Shortcut or strong con requirement. All right. <laughs> he dies in that maze. It's very annoying, but he's going back in for sure. Kuiper is going to look at the tiny twirl barrel. He know, or actually, he's not looking at it because he knows it's way of the horde. I was hoping he would look at it so we would know what it is, but... He's just kind of going fast. A man of speed, he is. Huh. Let me tell you, folks. This maze is bad. Actually I... oh, that's actually a genius idea. Doing it with Diddy, who has a smaller hurt box? That actually makes a lot of sense. I never would have thought of that. I would just brute force it until I got mad. And either way, even if he does abandon it at some point, it's just good information. Yeah, like, he just knows there's a vial there, and it's like, okay, you know what? Strong Kong's probably gonna turn up if I need that. I'll just come back to it. There's a chance it's, like, charge and it's garbage. Yeah. Now a total disaster. Oh, he gets, his, he gets his metal here, too. He did his CDs a little more aggressively and walks away with the metal. There's Tiny in production. And he's checking the boss. Thank God, somebody's checking this boss. I don't want to look like a fool. Let's see if he finds Key 4 here. Q4 
E4 could also be on the factory boss, and Kuiper is well on his way there. Climbing production gets you a lot of CDs. Then again, your climbing production. Yeah. I hate climbing production. Have I said that before? I think I have. <laughs> I think everyone has. <laughs> Ooh, it's not the cave's boss. Kuiper gets away with one here. If he finds key four in the factory boss, then he's just a uh, he's just a lucker yeah. dog. Got away with one. All right now, make this jump with Diddy for a key. Oh wow, or DK. Very nice jump. Yep. And no guns. You can't do that. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, rough. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. You're coming back for that key. <laughs> so you gotta climb half production again. Indeed. Well, he's got the warp, so he, he spared the worst of it, but yeah, that's not great. Yeah. And now you can kill this Kasplai with bongos. No more than Spike, thanks for the raid, Chief. Hope your seeds were good. We're, uh, we're already in a seed where we have found the bean and known to be foolish in five minutes. It's been truly a, truly been a ride. Things, bean stocks have truly crashed today. Yeah, they and it's so sad. They crash before they can even rise. It's like, what am I supposed to do? <sighs> so sad. What do we got in storage? Piper's gonna give us some looks. Oh, did Danny remember the bongos pad? I think he did. Let's see what we got in here. We gotta do the backflip again, which is a little annoying, but. Not too bad. A little bit of a lineup for it. There you go. But it's not too bad to just make it work. I didn't see it was behind the punch door. I was glancing at the wrong way. Indeed, we have a Trophins copy to key four. He's just a metal here, so once again, Kuiper continues to stay winning. I want to see what's on this factory boss. There's no way Kuiper skips this one, right? Right? Surely. Um, it is entirely possible the boss has, like, Twirl for that key that we saw in production. It could be that it has, like, Feather because it's a gunlocked game and we need Tiny. Yeah. Or, production for Key 5. That's just Key 5. We do have that hint. Good save. I do even comprehension. Oh. Get it together! Pull it together! It looked like a blueprint on the Kasplat. Although I guess Kuiper checked it anyway, and you're climbing, so... Yeah, it's a blueprint. Let's see if Danny climbs here. It's better to not climb and come back when you have a gun, but he doesn't know that at all, so... Pretty likely he climbs, given that he knows that there's something good on Tiny's barrel. Yeah. Plus, plus he's about to just get Tiny out, right, so... That's a good move. Hey, you you, you want to check that display, my guy? That's got a... He is in possession of Tiny Kong. All important. Oh, we got a cop in an absolutely horrible spot. That cop, by yeah. War 4, is miserable. The amount of times I have fallen off of production only to land directly in front of that man is nuts. Falling out of production, coming out of the crusher room, there's just the cop is yeah. just the worst. Number one cop on the force for sure. There you go. Good crusher room skips. Kong Kong skip. Ooh, Ooh, it's a bio. Oh, that's purple too. Is that like twirl? I have no clue. Oh, that's feather. Oh, it's oh. oh. so it that makes it five yet. That makes it more likely that it's key five in production. Or yeah. it's key five in like R and D feather locked. Uh, nothing, so... Hmm, interesting. Nice find on that feather bow. Um, it might be a might be a problem if we have Tiny Kid roll, because uh, that feather is uh, a little bit sneaky. Kuiper has bailed out of caves instantly. What is he coming back for? Oh, he's coming back for the way the horse shot. Okay. So he cleared out the factory yeah. shops, and instead of exiting the level and returning in to go to testing, he went straight for this uh, way to horse shop. Which is, like, good, but, like... Ooh. 
He's probably going to buy this and then also buy Lanky. Yeah, and then go back to factory. Because the Kasplant yeah. the Kasplant testing his way to the horde, so like Factory is great value to return to, so. Yes. I think he's also trying to find a gun to also use for the uh barrel. And he pulled away the horde peanuts out of uh He pulled away the horde peanuts out of that shop, so that's that's awesome. That may pull him back to factory and then not go back to the Isles shop for Lanky. You know, that'd be you, you know what? That's like a you know, he got he got one of the two things. That's that's pretty good. That's alright, that's alright. I do like that routing. It's very easy to just autopilot continue to clear factory, but I think this is a little more efficient. Well, if you got Link, it would have been, like, really efficient, but even still, this worked out pretty nicely because he got a gun, so he can just do this now. Um, where are you going, Kuiper? <laughs> you are you are crossing the production room when you did not need to. He's taking a tour in the arms. All good. This is why we, this is why we hate production in the stream. We hate production. Yeah... Danny is continuing to forge forward in Factory. Also, I think, totally reasonable. Uh, a return trip to Factory yeah. isn't all that bad. You might, like, try and, like, go to Caves, go to go get Lanky, and then return to, like, level 3 instead of going to... going back to Factory, so... You might save a trip to Factory this way, but, like, that's not that much time saved. That's basically just time spent, like, uh... Time spent like running to the level, which is level two, so it's not that bad to do. Anyway, let's see if Kuiper uh, chooses the crate strategy or the infinite ammo, just fire everywhere and hope you hit them strategy. He chooses the latter. Good luck. They're big boys. These uh, these mecha zingers take a, a shot or two to get. No problemo. But on our left, we've got a way of the horde splat here. What do we got? Oh. Oh stand. Oh stand. Way of the horde. It was key five in production as predicted. So nice and nice and clean. So twirl is probably an RD. So maybe the Kasplat, maybe something else. And then I guess you're I mean, key. I it guess is It is key five, so thinking that twirl is very close is I don't know if that's the best thought. Well, I think it is. I could be locked behind a ton. I think it is because we don't have our key two hint, and our key two hint could be in the uh, could be in a, a key five lock the lobby, which would make more sense. And then key four is the one that's a little bit more buried. Gotcha. That said, we only have one key four hint. We have two key five hints for what looks like a a, uh, a key five that's locked by like two moves. So that's a little interesting right there. That kind of. I'm already, I'm already smelling it. I'm already smelling a jet seed. So hold on to your hold on to your seats, folks. We might this seed might accelerate real quick. Yeah. yeah Shoutouts to the second best comp on the forest, just chilling in the the tunnel, the testing. That guy is so mean. He will jump scare you out of the tunnel so bad. Will we get to see any doubles today? That was a hard man. I don't even bother. <laughs> I'm I'm too bad. I've just conceded. Maybe if I like practiced it or like tried it, but like I think just trying it is just slower than just slamming the switches. I'm not I'm not trying to get fancy here. Chat trying to call me out for calling a jet seed, but I'm I'm look man, I gotta make predictions sometimes, and twenty minutes in calling a jet seed is like really bold, so we're gonna go bold today. You, you got... don't want to see that in front of DK64 randomizer. You know it might just become sentient and start adding all the bosses into the seed, right? It's, it's already sentient. It can't. It can't hurt me anymore. And we already got one boss for sure. Is it the factory boss? Who's checking the boss? Is Kuiper checking the boss? No. Known boss hater Kuiper is not checking bosses when they're hinted. That's a bold decision. Maybe we haven't heard the dink yet. Okay, that Kasplat was like the prime contender for where Twirl is, so... Uh, that's not good. What else is an R&D? It would be like Grab or something? Mini? Key 4 on a boss still? It's still a potential? Okay, here we go. Kuiper, checking a boss. Rare footage. 
never before seen. <laughs> One of a kind, only here on DK64 speedruns.com. DK64, twitch.tv slash DK64. Man, really not a lot going on. Tiny. And it is indeed a key. But we got Tiny here. I don't I think this is magic. I, I don't think this is magic because I think Twirl is an R&D somewhere. So. Uh. Unfortunate. We were, we, were, we were this close to greatness. But here's our key four, so life is good. And they have two melons, so Puff Toss isn't like a total disaster. You can watch them run through Puff Toss for the, you know, 100,000th time, however many times they've done this. The boss shows up all the time. He shows up all the time because he's a, he's a low requirement boss, so he's uh, easy to put in the seed. So he ends up early a lot. Yeah. I swear, he gets chosen so much less than Cardboard, though. Mm, well, random is random. They're basically equal. Okay, theoretically equal. Surely it's not a... Sure, surely there are no problems in the fill. That would be ridiculous. Unthinkable. <laughs> it's perfect. Never. Do not question it. <laughs> What's their next play? I mean, it's just gotta be level 3, right? Whatever level 3 is, Forest. You're not really impressed with that. You only have the mills to check. For Chunky K roll. Maybe your peanut points you at the winch or something. Really not inspiring. Yeah. Does Peanut do anything in, like, caves? Uh, 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 Diddy Metal. <laughs> as long as they... Actually, no, they don't have guitar. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, though. That, uh, that O stand away the horde tells me that I'm getting lanky for sure. Uh, yeah. You might be able to skip him in, like, J... Oh, no, Stormy Tunnel's foolish, so it's not for that. It could be, like... It's probably much <laughs> interior. Be a painting room angle. That too. Mushroom, mushroom, yeah, with peanuts, a peanut whale or painting room is a possibility. Mushroom interior is a classic. But yeah, you, you're definitely picking up one for sure. He's gotta be good. Yeah. Danny has clicked key four, he just knows it's key four. I'm clicking it with him, I believe. If this is key seven, I'll eat my shorts. Alright, we're good. Dang. Not eating shorts today. <laughs> no problems there. So with key four and key five in his pocket, Kuiper's actually just gonna read a ton of hands. That's where he's going. The first excuse to look at the pineapple cage is whenever you have key four, it feels like. There he goes. That's our level five. Oh. What is etiquette doing here? Danny rolled straight blue cop, unfortunately. Oh, he's still going up to get key five, huh? Yeah, he's he's not gonna get key five. So there's your key two hand. Japes is five. Mushroom interior lanky K roll. So there's possible O stand potential. Castle surroundings foolish. Very nice hand. Large region. A treasure in key eight. Ooh. Rape chest. Hmm. Chunky five door igloo. Interesting. That's kind of out of left field. We don't have Chunky or Triangle. But Japes at level five, and Chunky's in Japes, so that's unfortunate. I didn't see the number on that. Thirteen? If my eyes do not deceive me, thirteen for Japes? That is very cheap for a level five. Uh huh. That's a little weird. Oh my God! Yeah, Chunky February was the, the rabbit. The freaking main character has a, a check again. Something important, too. That son of a gun. Can't keep getting away with this, man. Jump by Kyber. I did not know that was jumpable with DK. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very tight, and I attempt it all the time and miss it all the time. It's not easy. There's an excellent kick there. All right. We got a level five. What's level six? Galleon. Galleon. We got treasure hinted for Galleon, so it's going to be a while. We'll get here. Well, maybe it'll be a while. Oh no, missed the kick to get up to the oh. key. Oh. That's rough. Another treasure room, man. And tiny K roll, so now we know our K roll phases. 
The factory shop's so full. The... I think it's 25 to get into Galleon. A little expensive, but not too late. Oh, we got a Bontwist! Here we go! Rabbit Raceway, the Horde! Oh, no! Oh, and Forest Metals, Lanky K. Rule. That's big. First rabbit seed is today, I guess. And Hive to Tiny. There's all our K. Rule hints. Right there. Chunky, Lanky, Tiny. And we only have one Chunky hint. Uh, Alright, team, I may be uh, taking back what I said about a Jet Seed. Uh, <laughs> We have entered the danger zone for Hunky <laughs> Chunky Casino. We have entered the danger. <laughs> uh oh. Castle 7. Hey, the guy under the owl tree. So that's nice. Yeah. So you get a little bonus on your way to the rabbit. They do need grape, though, with how congested owl tree is. Alright, well, Pound the X is dead. That's not too bad. That's good. Not too bad to know. Arcade Shops Key 8. Okay. That's our Peanut, so maybe Peanut gets us something for Key 8. 42 is a pretty important number. That's their... Well, that's their Monkey Port hint, but they all have Monkey Port, so... No problems there. Last Foolish? Five Door Ship. Not bad. Pretty good one. That's kind of... It's just a bunch of, like, really isolated checks that take a ton of instruments. That one's kind of nasty to have to deal with. Another Forest Kasplat. The Thornbrine Barn Kasplat. Alright, well, Forest suddenly loaded up. You've got Away the Horde you can definitely do. You know. <laughs> but Kuiper still has not gotten his Lanky hint, so he has not recalled that Lanky is in the Isle Shop. <laughs> that is... is he not oh. That is not ideal. He definitely did. I don't... To be fair, I also missed it, so, uh, hang on. We're gonna get an instant replay. You know, maybe... Maybe he's cooking, you know? <laughs> you know, let, let's let him cook, let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. Huh. Now, and now Danny takes his, uh, hint tour. Yeah. Good info, good info, all around. Ever choose to go to the mushroom first? Kind of makes sense. We have, I think, mushroom exterior on the path of something. Oh, yeah, mushroom exterior on the path of Lanky K. Rool, so he's hoping for, like, barrels or trombone here. One is, or one is barrels, one is trombone, and then the other is on a forest metal of some sort. Which is, you know, hilarious. Haha, <laughs> forest metals. Ever fun. Oh! A little something in the interior. Uh, Mushroom Interior is not on the path anything, as far as I can tell. What do we got here? I like Kuiper's routing through the levels. He went to 5, then 6. Like, he went to 5, kicked it over to Roof Dirt, routed that into 6, and then went to 7 in isolation. Kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, but now we got a Snoop. Okay, it's a short one. The short one, I think. Nice cut, and he's home free. He's almost home free. Oh boy! Kind of close there, bud. Nice save. Well, outer Isles, we know Outer Isles will be foolish, but uh, hey, an early rainbow coin is an early rainbow coin. We take those. Sprint! We need that. Love that. Great find. I don't believe... Yep. Did Kuiper look at the Cheka Legends? I did not catch it. I don't think he did. He did not. He just, he just believes it is not a thing, which is very, very admirable. I respect the hustle. Listen, uh, I, I think it's understandable not to look at the Cheka Legends. I've had <laughs> one seed in the UI, almost 100 that I've run, that have had, had that check. Yeah, it's very rare, but when it hits you... It hits you like a... Yeah. It hits you like a truck. Here's Twirl. What okay. is in... Oh, so it's Strong Kong in R&D then. Right? Because it's it's Strong Kong oh. blocks your feather. And then you go to... Okay, oh. so that... That makes yeah, a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. So that puts it like a four path for key five, which kind of explains how it gets two hints. That's kind of our reference point now, now that we kind of solved that whole path. Well, no, because we need something else for... We need something else for anything in R&D. Yeah. It's E5, right? 
So it can't. Right. I assume it can't be Mini Monkey. Because Mini Monkey's in either Treasure or something in Japes from the tiny fight with K. Rule. Um, but it is key five, which means it could be pretty late, so it could be something in Japes. Our last level we haven't seen is Aztec. That's our level four. And nothing has ended in Aztec, so maybe a skip diving angle, which would be brave, think, but possible. Yeah. I think most likely it's probably uh, Piano. Piano makes a lot of sense. We get Trombone and Forest. You head back to R&D to go get your Strong Kong. And then that puts that Diddy Vial we saw in DK's Igloo is a little more important. Yeah. That could be like your Rocket Barrel. That could be like Guitar. Guitar would be great. Here's good. We do not have a... <laughs> We've checked six lobbies and we have not found a, a Helm Order, so that's a little unfortunate. Kuiper just like, Kuiper with an outstanding cave moment falling through the floor for no reason. <laughs> Perfectly programmed game. <laughs> having, a, having a little a little minty bee right there. <laughs> Very confused uh -huh. as to what happened. The Check of Legends, also known as the Forest Donkey Mushroom Cannons, the donkey switch at the bottom of this. Takes all the guns, and we do not know what it. We, we do not know what is on the check. You can check it very early, which is great, until it's something. In which case, then it's then it becomes very bad. You know, there, there's one check that's worse, but just one somehow, which takes almost the entire of the same stuff. All right, Nils, what do we got here? Mills on the path to Chunky K rule, and we have the Thornvine Kasplat hinted, so... Mm. Yeah. So, very interesting that they can both make it night, but they both got guns the other doesn't have. <laughs> Danny got his feather out of the Crusher room out of logic, and Kuiper went back to Way of the Horde Peanuts, so... Way of the Horde Peanuts in the cave shop, so... Not bad. Danny <laughs> also didn't pick up Lanky. Yeah, unbelievably, neither of them have gone back for Lanky in the Isle Shop, which they both can definitely buy. They're definitely wealthy enough for this. They've just been thoroughly sidetracked by getting so much information. This has not been like a drip, a drip-fed seed. This is a fire hose seed. They're just throwing information at you left and right. You got all these keys. Go get all your hints. Go, 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 go. But maybe, just maybe, take five and uh, walk it back. Remember that thing you checked very early? Alright, the winch is dead, so it's not peanut for that. What do we have on our Thornbind Barnica Splat? Back here. Maybe... Well, okay, I was gonna say... Well, you know, if, God, wouldn't it be nice if Kuiper had O-Stand to check these O-Stand rooms right now? God, wouldn't that be something? Or if he, he has O-Stand. He had Lanky. Yeah, he has O-Stand. Wouldn't that be nice? What was something on the arena? Oh, oh, and it's diving away of the horde on the Thorn Ryan Marcus Blad. Very nice. We don't know. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, we definitely do need diving. I said maybe it's at a skip diving angle a while back. That was very dumb because the treasure room definitely needs diving, so. Is that a blue vial on arena? It is. Yes. And it is trombone. Mm. There's our mushroom exterior to Lanky K rule. Solved. Boom. And we may have hit the worst of all possible worlds with a possible diving is your only hint to Chunky K rule. There better be another Chunky move in the mills, like, because that is a horrible hint. <laughs> okay, but how about if you, like, just swim into Hype Chest and then all of a sudden you just have Chunky Exodia? Oh my god. <laughs> that would be, that would be truly worthy of the title of Hype Chest. That would be the hypest chest of all time. One can only hope, I believe. And now they kind of retread ground. Kuiper makes it night before going to the mills, so he's not going to see what's in the conveyor belt. It was nothing, but he's not going to see it. You know, it's just a price you pay. Get good info on the winch. I wonder if he goes into Diddy's attic. Oh man, with. Would he be able to do it? Guitar lifts. Oh, hopefully not, but you at least get a look at it. Or, we could, but... 
Ooh, that's Welcome scary. To bonus stage. Uh, can F Peanut be way of the horror for the sole purpose of turning a knight if that's your only gun without making a knight? Yes. <laughs> that is possible, and it is horrifying. Oh, there's barrels. Yep, that is our other Lanky Carol path for a Diddy Medal for Welcome Barrels. To bonus stage. So that is also solved. So we have all our Carol hints, and two of them are solved already. This is not ideal. Wait a minute. Was it treasure room to tiny K rule? Yes, I'm. I'm pretty Welcome sure. There what was a that? treasure room eight, or there was a treasure room way of the hoarder key eight. I forget. And then there was also a tiny K rule. Yeah, that's not the treasure chest because that can't be mini monkey. Okay, we also got pineapple on DK's metal. That's pretty nice. Yo, apple. It can't be Mini Monkey because there's two Tiny K roll pads. So something in the Hive Tunnel leads to something in the Treasure Room. So like maybe like Hive has like Balloon or something. Or the Treasure Room has like Hunky Chunky. And then like the Hunky Chunky check is... Uh, and then like the Hunky Chunky check is Mini. Oh boy, that's kind of spooky. Well, I'll check of Legends. It's trash. Yep, garbage. Unforge or forge. Price is averted. He's gonna scoop up his. What was this? This was. Oh, Force Lanky Zinger Bounce. Hang on. Force Lanky Zinger Bounce, way the horde. Lanky can be bought in aisles. Hey, turn around, idiot. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Kuiper with a little, uh, Kuiper with a little, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that. Chunky Donkey Lanky. Alright, so Triangle, Bongo's Trombone, we are two-thirds of the way there, very nice. They can run into Aztec if they wanted to. From Isle, Key 7, that's our only, only Key 7 hint, so. That's pretty good. Crumb Isle's maybe like, maybe like Great Block, could be, could be the Battle Arena. Could be top of, uh, top of Crumb Isle. It's not the Coconut Cage, we've seen that as a Rainbow Coin. And Kuiper is our first to buy Lanky significantly later than he could have, but... <laughs> you know... Better late than never. Yeah. Alright, so we have two hints remaining. One in Caves Lobby that is Rocket Barrel Locked, and one in Aztec that is Feather Locked. Danny will be able to get that when he heads in there, because he's got Feather. One of them is a Way of the Horde, and one of them is a Key Hint. So, both of those hints are very good. Especially because it's probably going to be a Key 8 hint. I mean, technically, uh, they have barrel throwing PTT if they really want that hint without RBB. Ah, uh, they need punch though. Good, good catch, but they do need punch oh, to actually go get the boulder. You right? <laughs> you right? And Lord only knows where punch is. Kuiper just skipping level four entirely, going straight to Japes where he can go get chunky. Love this idea. He's probably a little bit mad that he didn't have Lanky when he could have checked the Zinger Bounce, because that is like definitely something I would that's definitely something he would do if, if he had Lanky and and uh Lanky plus uh O stand on his way there. And he's gonna finish up his forest clear by climbing the mushroom. I hopefully he gets the Diddy metal on his way up. I'm not sure how much Diddy stuff he's been collecting this whole time, but it would be very yeah. unfortunate to leave without barrels. I mean, we are going to see a return trip by both players back to Forest for that Zinger bounce. True, and having climbed the Mushroom, they'll have Warp 5, so it's not... You're, you're going to have to spend the time to climb it anyway. Ooh, alright, big news. We've got a Bile in the Feather Cage. Oh. And Kuiper does not have Feather. He is going to have to find Feather out of the Crusher Room in production, which is a very sneaky spot. <laughs> yeah... Strong Kong is, like, looking thing. real spicy wherever that is. Like, where the heck is that? I think it's an R&D. Hmm. It's gotta be there, right? Like, nowhere else. Right, Otherwise, we'd see more hints for Key 5. Right, for Key 5, yeah. We only, we only got two. And two is, like, already kind of a lot for a non-Key 8 key, so... Possible the, the path is longer, but, like... 
Kong Kong is looking pretty good for, for uh, in R&D. And it's, it's, I think it's most likely piano game, because they already have trombone. But there's another world where it's like... Guitar plus charge turn up like instantly. But even then, we know a red vial is locked by Strong Kong, so like, that's not very likely. <laughs> that would be staggeringly unlikely, even. Yeah. Hmm. Right, I think... Uh, I think we've seen crazier, but... <laughs> We've learned if we've learned one thing in our time watching DK64 randomizer.com, it can always get crazier. And he's scooping up trombone. I think he's close to the Diddy Metal if he keeps running around. If he keeps running around uh, the top of forest, he'll get it. Japes Hillside. Loads of checks here. None of them hinted, so nothing particularly exciting here. We're most interested in the hive tunnel area, which uh, you know most of which most of which is feather locked, so that's a little unforge. Yeah, there's barrels. Perfect barrels for Danny, so he's in, he's off to the races. Worth noting there, Kuiper has just run by without finding vines. Vines has to be in the first three levels, and we have not seen it. And Kuiper's not seen it. He's just running straight by. Uh! Oh my gosh. Danny getting a huge knockoff there and is just throwing that Kasplat away. It was junk, so it's fine, but like, that's a. That's mental damage right there. I, before I say that, everyone gets one. Y'all get one. You get one knockoff of comically high location. Most of the time, it's falling off of Castle. In this case, it's the Forest Mushroom. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. We're good. We're good. Miss. Danny here is going for the shop. Right, run back to the way of the horde location makes perfect sense. He'll get his peanuts and he'll be a happy camper. Yeah, he does also have PTT, so that would technically make Donkey Igloo easier. Oh, that's if true. He, he may actually be doing that too. If he can, if he can like pulls like guitar and he needs guitar and like skips, skips Strong Kong somehow, that'd be like pretty good for him. Yeah. Because like if that vial in the igloo is required. And he goes back, and in Kuiper, nothing is going to send Kuiper back to that igloo until he finds Strong Kong in a hinted location, which is kind of nasty. <sighs> I can't say it's likely that this vial is anything, given that like so little is pointed at it, right? Like this Strong Kong is. Yeah. Hmm. Um. I don't know. See. Uh, it... The problem is, is we know that Diddy, it's not Diddy K rule, it's not Diddy Helm, so Rocket Barrel and Guitar both have lost a ton of value there. They're both very good moves, but... Ah, uh, classic Kuiper... Well, they from... need... <laughs> they need Guitar, right? Because isn't Back of Aztec hinted? No, not yet. No? I thought I saw a 5-door, but... Uh, 5 door ship is foolish? I don't think we've seen a 5-door anything. Gotcha. <laughs> Danny gets his reminder, hey... Hey, go get Lanky Chief. Hey, <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> oh, finally. Nah. That's what my brain was thinking. Hyper enjoying his backflip up to the, the D minecart. Very miserable. Testing the key eight. Ooh. All right. And we got O stand at a testing, so it seems like the Zinger Bounce is going to have something for Helm. Possibly Triangle or, or Gorilla Gone. Hopefully Gorilla Gone, because we are in dire need of chunky K roll moves. <laughs> we are in the danger zone on that. What, you don't want a nice good old uh, Hunky Casino? Oh boy. Yeah, that... Hopefully we find Hunky Chunky in the mills, and then Punch just materializes. I beg you. Get to see Aztec here. Okay, best case scenario, we get Hunky Chunky in the treasure chest. No. Monkey Chunky on, like, Gold Tower into Mini Monkey in the Hive. Or, not the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the, um, the Hunky Chunky barrel in the Hive area. That's hive the tunnel. My Call of Jet is looking absolutely atrocious right now, but that's alright. Sometimes you just have to have faith for no reason. Danny choosing Aztec. I think this is, like, reasonable. You know, because this is a jet seat after all, so you just get some early checks out of here and you're off the races. You get some guitar info. Guitar looks like it's a later with a 65 drop and scoff. 
Though, I think it's pretty likely the guitar is later if they need it at all. Which means it's not in caves, so then that Strong Kong vial is looking like Charge or Rocket Barrel. One of which is quite good, one of which is pretty bad, so... <laughs> That also, you know, if it wasn't dead already, almost certainly kills the, or it, it kills R&D Diddy and Strong. Yeah. All right, now, I think it's now he's going back for a Lincoln. We're good. Man, where are vines? That is a great question. Okay, here's Chunky in the Hive Tunnel area, but that's not that's not part of Paths, so Viscous Splat has got to be it, or Kuiper needs to go find Feather, and he pulls Grape, which he definitely needs. Dude, what a hype tunnel. That is a killer tunnel right there. So that will send him to the Rabbit Race, for sure. You do the Rabbit Race, you do the Owl Tree Kasplat, you do the Zinger Bounce. Piper's about to get three moves. Jet Seed is back on the menu, folks. Let's go. I knew it the whole time. Never doubted for a second. Never for one second, huh? Not even a little bit. No, not even a little bit. Now, it's worth noting, two of those, the Rabbit Race and the Owl, will not be Vines. So it's, I think Vines might be the Zinger Bounce. That would make a lot of sense. That probably is the most likely. Or, yeah, I think that's actually, like, definitely it. If it's not there, then they're in trouble. We'll put it that way. You know, if it is Guitar in the Strong Kong and Glue, they could grab that for uh, the last hint. That's a way of the Horde hint. So you're basically like trading one for one. Yeah. If <laughs> if it's Charge, or if it's if it's Rocket Barrel, if it's Charge, it sucks. You grab in the Underground. That's grab. probably Junk, but it is another R&D check. Although it's again. I I don't <gasps> think that one would be so far fetched for R&D. I don't think it could be. Like, I think it's more unlikely, but that's still just like one for one, just like trombone. Uh, oh gosh, I'm actually not sure. It actually could be it. All right, you know what? Chaos mode. It's 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 vines and R and D. <laughs> that sends them into a panic, and then they go like Strong Kong and like the training uh, training grounds or something ridiculous. Well, we get to see this vial here. Ooh, nice. Welcome yes, Danny does have stage. feathers, so we'll get to see this. This could be why Peanut is way the horde. We do not know why. I mean, we do know that Feather is way the horde, because Feather got us a key, so... Remember scooping up this fast GB he ignored at the start? Love this. Alright, right, we're getting a little lost in the sauce. We gotta... We gotta you gotta, it's, it, I think it's generally better to assume your hints are simpler than complicated. The hints yeah. will try as best they can to spread out across the seed and give you information across the seed rather than, like, cluster into one spot and make you have to decipher, like, ridiculous paths. Or, like, very yeah. minimal information. But again, this is a Flogra seed. <laughs> you just never know. Okay, so with that Grape Cage check, Crema Isle is, like, two things, right? Oh, it's Gorilla Gone! Oh, that's very good for Danny. That's so good for him. That's massive. For a number of reasons. A that is... very large deciding factor of this is whether or not Kuiper finds Feather. He's got to remember that that's there. Uh, okay, here's Key 7. Key 7 in, like, one of the last two checks in Crime Island. It had to be here or the, the sax pad up top, and it is just here, so... Life is good. Just pull that out of the Isles Arena, and you're off to the races. No problem. That's all your keys solved. Love that. Wow. Crusher Room out of logic for a feather. They got him Gorilla Gone. That is so enormous. I mean, he will have... If Kuiper never finds Gorilla Gun, he will end up getting the Gorilla Gun hint at 60 GBs. But that won't tell him anything because he'll know. He, he should have written down that he f saw a vial in the feather cage. So that will that will he'll know where it is, but he won't know where he won't know where Feather is. There is one more way of the horde that could save him, but it's Rocket Barrel locked, which is pretty brutal.
All right, we're back to cooking though. Maybe it's Strong Kong in the mills, and then Strong Kong leads you to Feather, and then that's for Gorilla Gone, and that's your Chunky Kirill. Hmm? Didn't we already get a mills item from uh, Kasplat? We got diving, but like, you just really hope it's not I that. Know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're, we're just living in the world where it's not that, because that's kind of a disaster. Even though it's also way of the horde, so... Okay, that... Mm, we may have to live in this world, too. This is highly unfortunate. <laughs> you just hope that it leads to treasure room and not some crazy thing like Piranha. Yeah, Kuiper's grab is now leading him back to the mills to check the, uh... The grab check of the levers, but I don't... I, I think... No, he looked at that, didn't he? No, he, he only went to the mills at night. So it's definitely not that... Alright, it's very funny. Danny is also doing the same thing before realizing he doesn't have a second slam for this. So he's gonna run onto this pad and be like, oh no. Kyber did the exact same thing like I, 10 minutes I ago. Have. And for what it's worth, Danny has this huge advantage in Gorilla Gone, but Kyber is also just like progressed. He is like 13 yeah, GBs Kuiper, ahead right now. He's very far ahead. Just... Kyber has a bit of a breakneck pace going on right now. Yeah, he has stepped on the gas. He's made really good routes through Forest. And factory, I, I like this factory route, if it was a little unconventional. And now he's like on his way to get three more way of the hordes, so he's got to be feeling it real fast. And this is extremely solid gameplay where you check every single metal, even though you have found two things on there, including one which solved your hint already. You just check your whole hinted region. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a little bit overkill here, but I don't think it's that unreasonable. You just never know when your random hinted regions are going to come in. Bite ya. I would say it's unreasonable if I didn't ha end up having a three-hour seed because of the same fact. <laughs> ah. It gets everyone. It gets everyone, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, Zinger Bounce, is this Vines? Alright, we called this. We're very smart. We're, we're so smart. <sighs> Alright. Let his vines out of the way, that's nice. That was basically the last spot it could be before it ends up being unhinted, which is a little bit nasty. So, pretty fortunate. And now we are running towards two owl tree checks that are way of the horde. The Kasplat and everyone's favorite rabbit race. Oh, you know what? We're actually gonna get a race the rabbit, and then we're going to save him from blowing up in caves. The rabbit is the main character of this seed. Okay, I'm being called out for just predicting everything and that I'm always right. You found my secret strategy. Do not tell anyone else. I do not believe this. Do not, do not tell anyone. <laughs> no leaks. Alright, wave the horde. Coconut. Makes sense. We need that Coconut. to raise the yep. water. That is perfectly explained. What is in the rabbit race? Perhaps it is a little triangle action? Perhaps a little punch? Maybe a... Mm. Alright, my guess then is gonna be... Uh... Y you guess. Alright, Rai. This is your time. Your time to shine. Make your predictions. What is this? Just, just give it some punch, you know? Punch is just nice. Uh -huh. I can dig it. I, I think it will end up being... Because it, there's not much it left that it can be. Right. Kuiper is uh, losing badly. He's going to have to make it all up in the one turn. You make up a ton of time on this race. Yep. Now, mind you, this race is hard. <laughs> this race is very hard on low lag platforms. He's going to make it all, all like right here. If he's not ahead after this jump, he's probably lost. He's gonna have to do something fancy to get through this. I think it might be over for him. This race is absolutely brutal. Yeah, the rabbit does not pull any punches. And GG, go again. Fortunately, on your retry, you get to jump in the barrel really fast because you're no longer looking at the text. And you get a little bit of a head start. So now he can just like start with his lead and just continue to pull ahead. And life is good. Oh, <laughs> 
Meanwhile, here's two more guns. Here's, our, here's two more items for, for Rise. Or, uh, no, uh, names. They're going all the boys for Danny. We know where all the guns are now. And Gorilla Gone. Who's gonna check? The Forest Lobby Check of Legends first. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody's checking that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I on, honestly, for how hype it is, I, I just don't think there's anything there. Pretty unlikely. A lot of these guns are hinted away the horde, but for other reasons. Like, we need Grape to get into the yeah. lab race. We need Coconut to raise the water. Pineapple is unhinted for it's worth. It's a clear vial. Is this a slam? What is this? Oh, a slam. Still technically a chunky move. Yeah, is that for a chunky K roll? We need a slam. There is not a no need for a slam besides chunky K roll, so it's possible one slam blocks the other. However, after some math has come out about a bunch of seeds being generated, it is statistically more likely when one of your slams is hinted way of the horde for the other slam to also be way of the horde. So it's a little scary. <laughs> Especially with Castle Rooms being such a large region. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not great. Do we need a second slam for Castle? Is But there is a world where one slam locks the other. That's your first logical slam. And you do need a slam for Chunky K. Rule. So we know a need for one slam. But we don't know a need for a second slam. So, hmm. Uh, castle surroundings are foolish, so that kind of like bails you out of having to worry about like the greenhouse. But that's all that saves you from. <laughs> yeah. not, that, not that great. Wow, Kuiper excellently following his peanut checks, but he's going to be probably disappointed. When you, this is one of two, one of two pretty bad moves. <laughs> Wait, is this Strong Kong? There's no way this is Strong Kong. I don't think so. It is not Baboon Blast. We're still on the Strong Kong and R and D train. Now he takes it to the blast course here instantly. Second shot over uh, Danny. Forest funky for Danny. Love this with both guns. This is like great density. It's all foolish, but checking the shop is pretty good. And again, it's just crazy density. Yeah. Ooh, get, get a tiny metal while you're at it. Nice little route. Having run through Jades, he has caught up significantly on Kuiper's GB count, so. Kuiper's uh, lead was actually just time. yeah. Kuiper's lead was actually just fake news. As once you clear out Japes, you just load up on GBs apparently. That said, Kuiper having cleared a bunch more in Forest still kind of maintains the lead. But at some point, at some point, he has to go find that feather bow in the Crusher room, and that will lead him to Gorilla Gone. So that is two pretty. <laughs> that is a pretty hefty. Er, that's pretty hard to do, I think. Going into the Crusher Room unhinted. Nearly unhinted. Where do you think Kyber is starting off to right now? That is a great question. Uh, he does not have anything for Chunky Fiber Igloo. That might be what he wanted to do. That is way of the Horde here in Caves. Uh, Caves Main is on the path to Key 8, so checking more stuff in Main Caves is good. This Blast might be oh. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, Ostan got them. Okay, I'm trying to solve all his uh, I'm trying to solve all our key eight hints now. We've got testing to key eight. That's Ostan, which got you vine, so that's solved for key eight. Yes. Peanut, peanut in the cave shops. That's the feather hint, by the way. Kuiper doesn't know that. Is is on the path to Gorilla Gon in the uh, in the feather cage in Jabe's Lowlands. Uh, treasure room to key eight unsolved. Bongo's to key eight is solved because Bongo's is just a part of Helm. And then Cave's main to key eight. This must be what he's looking for. Bam! Blast course. This is big. Uh oh. This is a nice pull. I mean, it's either here or you're checking like the ice castle stuff. It, yeah, it's like one of like three locations, and he can do all of it. So he's actually coming back here to clear out Cave's main. Ooh. We'll mean? see. There, there's a chance that Mini Monkey's in, like, because it's connected to Treasure Room, we get Mini Monkey, and then we have to do something in vain with that. Damn it, that's a great point. That would extend your TA path a ton, though, so I'm not entirely sure it's that. Yeah. Given our... 
Well, given the elusiveness of Strong Kong, I'm no longer confident in that key five pad being really short and heavily hinted. So, yeah. this is this might start getting gnarly. We'll see what this battle is here. If this blast is required, that's kind of crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's homies! Uh, I mean, that's still good info. If it's homie ammo that is, in fact, yeah. part of the path, that actually, like, narrows it down a ton. So that takes you back to Forest. Go check uh, Lanky Attic. Possibly check Donkey's Cabin? Bongo's is also hinted. You know you need Bongo's, but, like, Donkey's Cabin is also a great check with a coconut way the horde. Yeah. Mm. These are all good homing checks. Um, it won't be on the path to uh, Lanky Tower because they started with Sniper, so that's not... A, they don't have to worry about Lanky Tower yet. They also don't have Balloon. Yeah. God, it would be a disaster if we were there. <laughs> that would be an unmitigated disaster. Our Kuiper taking his homing ammo out instead of checking the Ice Castle, which I think also would have been a pretty good check. Gonna take his homing ammo for a spin. Love that. With any luck, he finds, like, Triangle here. Triangle's probably his best find. It's, like, the last thing you need for Helm. Well, besides Gorilla Gun, but we know where Gorilla Gun is, so he's not finding it here. Unless this is Strong Kong. <laughs> Which would be absolutely crazy. Well, that's some battle. Not there. I don't think it's homing ammo. I, I, I really don't think homing ammo is your answer. Right. Yeah, I feel like it's bait. The big reason I think it's bait is because I think Blast is also bait. That Blast is very unhinted, yeah. locked by a peanut that is hinted, but we know we need peanut for something else. So, like, I think that Blast is just bait. And Kuiper seems to have arrived at the same conclusion because he's going back to caves. He's going to go check the lanky checks, probably. But he doesn't know it. He has to go back to factory. He's got to go back to, like, R&D. But, like, why would you ever do R&D with this? You're doing, like, the great, which is, like, horrible. Or you're doing the... We're also right in it being piano check. It's like, I don't... I can't name one runner who's like, Man, I love piano. I, yeah, everyone, everyone, and I mean... Everyone orphans the piano game at some point. It is so easy to leave there because it's such a garbage check to do. Here we go. What the pumpkin have GB. Okay, I don't know if Danny's a wizard, but he has his cursor over the slam icon right now. I don't know if that was an accident or if he predicted a slam was there. If he predicted a slam was there, he is like Nostradamus because I never would have. <laughs> that would not have been my guess in a million years. Although I guess a post level five or a post level three clear vial, like probably a slam. <sighs> Junk on the beetle. No such luck. Nothing on the. Wait, nothing on the. Uh, nothing on the tomato either. So it's just got to be mini monkey, right? I think so. I think that's what we're looking at. So mini monkey locks something, which means. Ammo. Right, and we know it's not mini monkey in the treasure chest. We know that's impossible. Yes. But it could also be like so either. I think, yeah. I think your play. They started with the spring, so that it could just right. be the Kasplat. Yeah. Or even I... like the. Tower. The Kasplat or the tower. Yeah, I think your play is to go to Galleon to check the treasure room. Which sounds kind of crazy, but, like, I think that... Like, it's crazy for Kuiper to do that because he knows... He doesn't have Feather either. Yeah. And Feather is on the path to key 5, so he knows it has to be early as well. That's actually a really good bit of logic there. Your Feather has to be in level 5 or earlier, so it can't be in Galleon. Which means your Galleon hints have to point to Mini Monkey, which means it kills the treasure chest. So he actually could piece that together. If he were sitting in a very comfortable chair and had full omniscience and staring at a spreadsheet full of notes <laughs> the whole time. Exactly. That is an extremely hard conclusion to reach. I would be very surprised if he did. Look, that's it. I'll take I'll take any advantage I can get to look smart. I'll, I'll take it every day of the week. <laughs> but he's checking Donkey Cabin. Oh my god, what is that? Balloon? Is it actually homing? Is is homing the it answer? Could be... Homing le could lead into treasure room for the lanky tower. And he's going to Galleon. I think he's arrived at the Galleon conclusion, but so is Danny. Danny's coming to Galleon too. 
and Danny having already had already having Feather and Gorilla gone, this is gonna he's he's chilling. If he finds like Mini Monkey here, he's like absolutely absolutely fine. Or actually, I think um Triangle is probably the best find because Triangle would point them probably to Mini Monkey and the Igloo. The hinted the hinted Igloo that's Triangle locked, probably that. Um. Well, then in that case, we run into a highly unfortunate Chunky Chunky and Punch Double Casino edition. That would be real bad. Uh, yeah. Green Vile's coming at a premium today, it seems. Oh boy. So they got one more hint, you know? Yeah, one more hint. That Surely that will solve their entire scene, even though we know <laughs> no, it won't no, be a no, Chunky no, K. No. <laughs> Y'all talking about the piano game and pressing F made me think that the stream dropped. Don't scare me like that. That's that is banned. <laughs> That's really funny, but <laughs> Oh no, I I feel like you just book it straight to treasure room here. Hey, right, treasure room makes a ton of sense. I I I think it would be a bad idea to skip galleon shops, especially if you, yeah, skipping galleon shops would be a disaster. So you definitely check all those. But this makes a lot of sense. But do they do the pearl check? I got a pearl, or at least I saw Danny get a pearl on a medal. Piper has one mark, so they both have one. Right, they definitely have they one. Both same metal for they, it. They certainly don't have many though, so that would be uh, highly unfortunate. Oh, you right, you right. <laughs> Their Kongs are too large. Well put. <laughs> you gotta a DK on a diet. Eesh. Like the larger the DK, the the larger roll we get, right? Hmm. That does track. Hunky Chunky is like the fastest mode of transportation in this game. Exactly. I like, I like the cut of your jib. It makes a lot of sense. Race? Uh, I mean, this seal race is a little bit of a reach, I think. He's really, he's really <laughs> leaning into his blast that he pulled off that slam. I mean, he doesn't know about Feather. Right. So he doesn't know Strong Kong's needed. Hmm. Like, that's the thing. We know oh. Strong Kong's needed, he doesn't. Crazy. To him, it's just, I forgot Feather somewhere in these first five levels. Right, but this is level six, so... Yeah. It's not gonna be here, that's for sure. Dueling Lighthouse! High five of the Lighthouse. Very funny how that works. Awesome. Every time. Every time this happens, you're an hour to a seed, and you will just inexplicably high five your opponent, no matter who's in the lead. You will just, like, randomly run into each other. By pure coincidence. They happen to end up at the lighthouse at the same time. Who has an edge? Um, Kuiper found key seven, but that's like super easy to find. Danny got feather and gorilla gone. I, mean, I think this feels like edge Danny. Yeah, I think feather's the big thing, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a huge decider. Even your direct gorilla gone hint does not help you in this circumstance because you just go walk up and then Squawks will be like, hey, go check James. I don't know, man. Hey, hey, go check this location where you know there's a vial, <laughs> but you can't yeah, get to it. Haha. Uh, like, Very funny. Thank you, Squawks. Very cool. Squawks is the troll. He's a troll. Up to no good, that's for sure. Mm. I'm gonna rough blueprint count. Yeah, so Kuiper has one more blueprint and I think like two more GBs. I think it's a. Uh... Wow. It's, this is definitely uh, Danny's edge. Two GBs is very easy to make up. Yeah. Especially if they get Mini Monkey near Treasure Room. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'll take. <laughs> that would be pretty good. I think it's more likely, though, that Mini Monkey is gonna be. 
I shot him. Yeah, I, I'm really kind of excited to see what they get from here. I don't... I think it's Triangle. I think Triangle makes the most sense. Yeah. Triangle is, the, triangle is the one item that solves the most stuff, because Triangle is way of the horde for both Helm and something else. And then you go get Mini Monkey out of the Chunky Igloo. They just do not want to show me in Treasure Room. <laughs> no. Even though I think that's like a great spot. A lot of the times that's where you end up routing the end of your galleon trips, so like they just kinda like put it off until then. And because they're only like in they're only in like the thirties of GBs, just like doing quick checks is a good idea, so they just choose to clear our galleon instead, which makes perfect sense. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh? we got a vial in a what? slam locked Tudor ship. This could be the other slam. Uh, this could just be something good. This could be... Oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, it's not Balloon. Where did we get Balloon? Balloon was in caves, right? Was that... No. Yeah, Balloon was in cabins. was... Yeah. Oh. Interesting. I'm trying to think of like what this could be if this were Mini Monkey related. I don't think this could be Mini Monkey or related. I think it's just too unlikely. I think the most likely scenario for Mini Monkey is on the spring is on the gold tower, and then the second most likely scenario is in Chunky Zigaloo. Yes. Oh, that's oh! Hunky Chunky. Hunky oh Chunky. Oh my god. What? That is crazy. That is completely unhinted. I mean, kind of unhinted. Kuiper is surely going to do this, right? This is crazy to skip. He's walking by both. Sh he's About walking by that? both switches. Oh no! Oh no! Is this the end for Kuiper? Is that the? Is that? Is that the moment when he jumped the shark? Right here at this hour twelve minute mark. Is it? Oh my goodness! Hunky Chunky is such a crazy pole. He was chasing oh slam checks God. and found blast for it, but then he's just not chasing slam checks anymore. I wonder what changed his mind. Wow. All right, what's in the gold tower? It's not the Kasplat. We think it's been here. I. I, yeah, I think it would be this. Right? It's junk. We got balloon out of the the homing so locked. Uh, cave's cabin. Is it here? Where is our mini monkey? It has to be this. It has to be. If the vial's this, then he's... That's nuts. That, that means Danny just skipped two entire checks. That is crazy. What a blast course. Everything has fallen in Danny's favor. He's gonna have a huge lead coming out of Galleon. Having skipped all that stuff that Kuiper had to do. Or that Kuiper did. Skipping the need for homing to pull that out of the cage blast course. However, oh gosh, this is getting weird real quick. Um, oh my gosh. Is this triangle? If this is triangle, it actually solves the hint. Uh. It's hard. Uh, uh huh. Huh? Huh? Uh, back of Aztec moment. Uh, I guess. Worth noting, that is the only thing it can be. We now know for a certainty guitar is on the path to Tiny K Rule somehow. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see that hell mini monkey. <laughs> so we know why. Okay, the the hive hint got them grape, which got them coconut in the owl tree area, which got them to raise the water, which gets them to this guitar. So we know that one of the tiny K rule hints is solved. That that being the one to the hive, yeah. but the other one is the treasure room on the path to Tiny K Rule. The only thing we found, and the only thing we will find out of there that's on the path that, to, to Mini Monkey, is Guitar. So something Guitar definitively blocks Mini Monkey. We know this for a certainty. You know what? The Mills Hint is also solved now. That diving, the diving in the Mills is on the path to Chunky yeah. K Rule because we just got Hunky Chunky out of the two-door ship. Oh, yeah. So we are in Punch Casino instead. Oh, joy. Oh, I boy. Think... Okay, actually, hang on. Okay, actually, wait a minute. Danny is, like, basically in go mode. He's, like, almost in go mode, I think. So you're about to find... You just chase guitar checks until you find Mini Monkey, right? Go to Helm for your triangle hint. Tr Chunky's the first room. And then just pray to the high heavens that triangle... The, that your Chunky 5-door igloo is Punch. 
I think that's pretty likely, even. But we got a bottle of grog on the seal race. Oh my. Oh no. Hang on. This blast is this. Oh no. If this is punch, this saves Kuiper so hard. Because this blast is so locked. <laughs> For all that we talk about the, the feather bow being in a horrible spot for him, I think that blast is in a worse spot for Danny. Jeep's Mountain. That is a brutal spot. What is here? I don't think this is likely to be anything but like... But if it is, if it is, this is just crazy. It's not Strong Kong. It's maybe Charge or Rocket Barrel? Oh. Or it's just an instant oh, upgrade. Well, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we were running out of good. Th I was running through my head what good things it could be, and that just wasn't really one of them. So, <laughs> it I forgot seal was just a little bit funny. There were not a lot of options. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The seal. Uh, it's a a very uh musically inclined bottle of grog. It's making waves. My pun game is lacking. I couldn't come up with one quickly enough. Unfortunate. All right, Danny's done with Galleon. Where do you go here? It's got to be Aztec, right? Yeah. Oh, he's okay. So he's remembered. He's remembered his Crimile hint to Key Seven, and he's checking this, and he's gonna find Key Seven immediately. It's either to him, it is either here, the Grape Cage, or the top of Crimile. Yeah. Kuiper is taking his talents to Aztec, seeing what he can do with his guitar. But he has left Hunky Chunky in Galleon. This is disastrous. Kuiper is going to have to go back to Galleon at some point to find Hunky Chunky. And that is not likely at all. He'll have to go back to Factory to find Feather. Yeah. Kuiper's in Let's big trouble here. Oranges. Kuiper needs Punch to be in just an absolutely miserable location. There's no way for, for him to win this otherwise. The, the path forward is so difficult for him. He has to, to to pull together a bunch of disparate locations that I just don't think he's going to be able to do. All right, he's stepping on the gas a little bit by skipping this barrels check. He's like, this is a guitar lock. What am I doing here? I'm just going to take my, my chunky metal and get out of here. Key 7 for Danny pushes him a little further ahead. He's checking all the right locations. He's going back to caves. Why, why caves? Why... Do you think he's going to get the Diddy Vile? That's all I can think of. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. What is he going for? Okay, I just muted myself. For... Oops. Clicked the wrong button. All good. Oh, I think he's been checking it. Okay, back to the igloo. Oh, he's going for the the vial in the. In, he wants to know what this red vial is in here. This does make a lot of sense. Yeah, that that definitely does. I mean, if this is rocket barrel, it's like really good. But I think it is very likely just charge, and this is like nothing. There is a very yeah. high probability that this is junk. The 50-50. Of course it's rocket barrel. Of course it's rocket barrel. The game just spits in my let's, face. Let's get that last hint. <laughs> yeah, actually, one more hint. That's actually a very great call. Would love to do that. Man, I want to know where Strong Kong is. That is ill. I think Danny's going to get away with not finding Strong Kong this seed, even though Strong Kong is, like, crazy. <laughs> Strong Kong goes insane this seed. <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. What are you doing, man? Right. Oh, and he left without getting the hint. That is unfortunate. Well, so the problem with Strong Kong is that only Danny knows it's logically required, and he can just look at his R&D hint and be like, oh, it's just an R&D. I'm never going back for that, because why would you ever go back for that? Kuiper has yeah. key five, so he's looking at that hint like, oh, I'm not going back for that, whatever the heck that is. That's probably like, whoa. Actually, wait a minute. He should definitely go back for that if he's looking for Feather. Like, if he... When he gets his Gorilla Gun hint, He's gonna be like, oh my god, I gotta go find Feather to go get my uh to go get my Gorilla Gone out of the feather cage in Japes. 
And so he'd be like, oh, if he remembers that his key 5 was Featherlock, he might look back at his key 5 hints. And that would lead him to R&D, which we think will find him Strong Kong. And then him be already being in factory with Strong Kong, surely he just checks the Crusher Room. I think that's his path to victory. He has to remember that Feather was locked in behind key 5, which is a real tough task when it was a bonus barrel and not, not anything else. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. That's an insane line of logic to follow. But then, but even then, even then it's not enough. He's got to find a hunky chunky in the two-door ship, which he orphaned. So if it comes to a casino for punch, Kuiper is going to find a bunch of random stuff in a bunch of random levels, which would benefit him. But the problem is, is I just don't think it's going to be a casino. I just don't think so. I, I don't think so either. I I really think Punch will just be hinted towards. Did, did we see that last cave sent, by the way? Did I miss it? We did not. Danny did not look no. at it. Well. <laughs> I don't know. I think Punch is... There's a pretty good odd that Punch is unhinted. Good odds. Not very high, but good odds. There's a world where it is Triangle on the back of Aztec to get you Mini Monkey in Chunky's Igloo, which would resolve all your hints. That alone would solve all your hints, because Guitar is actually on both the path to Key 8 and Tiny K Rule, which is kind of a disaster on itself, but all good. So if Triangle is the one thing that's very easy to find, then we're good. If Punch is the one, or if, if Triangle is the one thing that's unhinted, we're good. You go to Helm, you get your Triangle hint, life is good. If if uh, if punch is the one thing that's very hard to find, then Kuiper has a shot. Yeah. He's collecting tiny tiny mans very, very, uh, very carefully. Perhaps a little tiny metal action. Okay, no, I tried. That was a little. That was a little weak manifestation. Maybe Diddy's metal. Maybe I was off by one. Okay, no. Oh, team, I'm losing it. I'm losing my touch. Oh. Unbelievable. Danny lost Rocket Barrel while hitting the ring for the third time. That's actually insane. It's just like perfect timing. Perhaps it is Chunky's Five Door Temple with the also unhinted pineapple that might get us somewhere. Pineapple was on a forest metal. Forest metals were on the path of Lanky K Roll, but they found barrels there, so that's just like not it. Was it barrels or trombone? They found they found barrels there, and then trombone was on the path. Oh, barrel. Yeah. 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 Whatever. I think this just comes down to what's in Chunky Igloo. It's gonna be big. If Chunky Igloo has Mini Monkey, it's a disaster. If Chunky Igloo has Punch. Danny is just flying. He's rocketing through the scene. He's gonna be in helm in no time. But I gotta think that, like, in the back of his mind, he's just like, okay, I'm just running to 60. I think he just rushed to 60 as fast as possible. Do your fastest checks. Get your triangle hint. Get triangle. Go get, uh, whatever's in the igloo, and just hope it's what you need. <laughs> Yeah. Best case scenario is that it is uh, punch. Worst case scenario is that it's mini monkey. Both of what you need, but. And I don't think we're out of logic for anything. So, you just gotta have it. You just gotta have it. Well, it's not entirely anywhere. If Kuiper remembers that it has to be in the first five levels, he will know that Feather he could find Feather in Aztec, but... And we found a vial here in the back of Lanky's room? Wow, this is a nasty spot. Oh, it's possible it's this. It's, well, okay. Grape was hinted for, from the hive, but you need a grape for coconut, so... This is, like, just a coincidental also on the path. <laughs> you get a little instrument upgrade two action. You get our third melon. The seal gave us half the half the piece of the puzzle. A little sniper action, y'all are just 
Y'all are just fiends. You gotta get every junk item before you can get your actual vials. Isn't that the rules? That is um, the honor bound system. The DK64randomizer.com abides by. It will give you absolute junk for a long, long time. Until it isn't junk. What do we got? Oranges. Oranges. Okay, oranges is good because that solves his feather problem. Yeah. But not really. He might think it solves his feather problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, that's great. He doesn't need feather now. That, oh, might wait a minute. <laughs> actually, that might actually be a complete disaster for Kuiper. That might have been the worst thing he could find. Because <laughs> now he might be ignoring his tiny stuff and being like, oh, well, I don't need that anymore. He still needs to find mini, though, yeah. so it's not quite, not quite solved. What might he be thinking in caves? Man, I would clear out the bag of Aztec for sure. He's, oh, he might be chasing oranges into the, the lower Diddy's lower cabin, which is a little bit of a reach, but well, I guess. So how him... much? How much you want to bet we have another strong Kongwok check in back of Aztec just for the money? <laughs> that would be so mean. That would be unreasonably mean. Strong Kong hurt us talking smack for so long, and he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm about to end this seed's whole career. I'm gonna still talk smack. Danny hasn't gotten Strong Kong, and he's just fine. Right. Point, point us. <laughs> Strong Kong zero. Danny a one. What a beast. Don't give me how the jet seed is. I've told you the path to solving this. You just go get sixty, and you're done. Like, bang. Danny's chilling. We are not in disaster scenario yet. He hasn't like checked like castle or anything. Like if you check like the castle shops and don't turn up punch, then like okay yeah now we're panicking. But there's even a world where it's it is punch in the chunky igloo and then life is like perfectly fine. This certainly isn't like jet territory yet, but this isn't like that unreasonable. Also things change as it turns out. Making predictions 20 minutes in is very 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 bold. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I think Strong Kong cooked my prediction. I underestimated the power of Strong Kong. We are just like, oh, we just go find Feather in R&D and we're good. Or, oh, we just go find Twirl in R&D and we're good. And then that bonus barrel in production turned into an absolute nightmare with the Strong Kong in, like, nowhere. And Feather locked by Strong Kong. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to bonus stage. Now Danny's gonna find his oranges. Does he leave Aztec with these oranges? There's no way. It wasn't anything in the five-door cabin, so... Or it was, yeah, it wasn't anything in Diddy's lower cabin, so... It just sends Kuiper right back to Aztec. Wow, he is aggressively chasing things. This is... He's playing super aggressively. I think it's costing him. Danny's thoroughness has paid off like, absolutely enormously. Doing a couple things out of logic just because like you could do it is like very reasonable. Like doing the crusher out of logic is not unheard of. Like most people have done it at some point. Like a lot of runners have done it at some point. I have no doubt Kuiper's done it at some point. It's kind of annoying, but it's very doable. With Diddy, it's pretty it's well, I wouldn't say free, but it's easiest with Diddy, so. Hmm. <laughs> but Danny did not leave to immediately go check his oranges, so he did not fall for that, that trap quite yet. Not yet, not yet. Instead, we get dueling five door temple checks. Huzzah! Last room we haven't seen in Kuiper side, Peanut side. What do we got? Perhaps we get a little mini monkey action. Perhaps we get a little punch action. Perhaps some triangle. Maybe. We'll see. Perhaps a none of the above. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Unfortunate. It happens. You know, we did find Galleon, or we, we did find Guitar in a later level, as I predicted earlier. There's one good prediction for the day. We take those. I. 
and notably, in all honesty, and and again, if Kuiper remembers the whole key five shenanigan eating feather, he knows the feather is not here. It can't be. Yeah. If I begin. I think what hurts Kuiper the most right now is not just the feather, but also the hunky chunky. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I I don't see in any world you just like put that together. Yeah. Like you have hints pointing to it, but. Like we're talking they're not great. Yeah, they're really, really not great. We're talking like, oh yeah, he'll go back to the first five levels at some point because Feather has to be in the first five levels because of where T5 was. But there's nothing helping him with Hunky Chunky. He just has to randomly go to a level six galleon and check the two door ship that he intentionally left. Where the five door ship is foolish, and your other options in the outskirts are uh checks notes the mechfish and the seal. <laughs> or no, the mechfish and the sub. <laughs> Like you're going Man, back to what? You're going back to Galleon for that? <laughs> Man, don't we all love Mechfish? Isn't it such a great check? Yeah, that's a. Uh... Don't be disrespecting the Mechfish, bud. Pull your jets. The agenda will find you. We'll see. We'll see. Well, there's a. Uh... Show me that. The third melon in the uh, the lanky cage is highly unfortunate. That is, that is far from ideal. I want to see this triple strong Kong lock seed. I wonder That's if what Danny, I need in my life. I wonder if Danny checks it. Like, Kyber's not checking that. He's already abandoned strong Kong. He hasn't, like, thrown off any pretenses of finding strong Kong ever. Yeah. Alright, here we go. This is our first step in, Kyber, in, in saving, saving Private Kuiper is going to factory. <laughs> <laughs> And doing the bongos check he could have done in the first five minutes of the seed, but skipped. They both could have done it. They both ran into factory before checking this. It's a metal, so crisis averted, but that would have been extremely funny. <laughs> Danny's hitting the switch. He might commit to the strong Oh, combat. yeah. <laughs> this would be incredible. <laughs> the problem with bongos is that there's no real need to check bongos for anything. It's a... Uh... You just need it for Helm, that's kind of solved. Okay, so he's doing grab. He's checking R&D. Maybe he, like, saw his R&D hint and was like, okay, maybe something's well, R&D. Or maybe he finally remembered that, oh my god, I need Feather for R&D. This is exactly what he needs to do to get back in this. This is exactly it. Clear out R&D? Clear out R&D to find Feather. He might have just, like, forgotten that he found grab in a way later level. Okay, he found grab in Japes. Boulders locked. I think that's, st that's still first five levels, so... Like, barrels and vines and pineapple and all that jazz. Okay, our last hint. What is our last way to hoard? Yeah. I cannot believe Danny hit the switch for me and then didn't go do the check. That is grape way of the hoard. That is, that is atrocious. That is real bad, even. Danny's at 48. He has eight blueprints marked. He's very close to done. We're finally going to see the piano game. Here we go. Yeah. Is, is this our strong Kong? Kuiper is shrugging. He's like, I, I don't know. I'm just going to check this. He's like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Need to see it. This is what he needs to do. This is his path. This is his path back into the seed. Stop pressing F. Stop <laughs> it. All right. Nice. Move. I, I tell you the stream's still up. Don't worry about it. The seed will not. The seed will not. Give us an F, to spite you all. Alright, five letters down. <laughs> New way to panic streamers is just tell them that the F, just spam F during the piano game. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> then again, if you're reading chat while doing the piano game, that's like your own fault. Not today. Not today. We've escaped. Oh, that's what Danny's doing, because Danny doesn't know homing ammos in main caves. Oh, and he doesn't have mini monkey or blast. Was... Yeah. I kind of like this, and then you like go clear out shops and then just like get out of here. Yeah, you might be thinking main caves for triangle, but not. Strong Kong on the piano game, and Kuiper just like shrugs. Like, I don't know. He did not pause the exit instantly. I think he's going to the crusher room. Oh. Uh here we go. This will save him. This bails him out so hard. He finally pieced it together. Check your your random hints to just like find moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
no. Here we go. The only monster he has to overcome is that gosh darn Galleon gone. Or that, Galleon Hunky Chunky. That Hunky Chunky is gnarly, and there is no help on the way for it. He paused, <laughs> he paused, about to leave, and then was like, oh my god, that's my feather bow. Oh, and... <laughs> Oh boy, he's giving us a, a real a real treat there. <laughs> he's running into forest with this. What is he thinking? Is he checking check all legends? There's no way. What is he doing? What? A forest shop? That's unhinted. There's nothing here. Oh, he might. Well, maybe he just forgot his his feather cage. I mean, there's no reason to. Yeah, I mean, hmm. when he gets his gorilla gun, he'll be able, he'll run straight to Jace, so like no problem. So this isn't like that big a deal. He might be going to get to 60, dump, and just like start getting hints, which makes a lot of sense. That might actually even be yeah. better than going to Jace. Well, in this instance, we know it's not better because we just know it's gorilla gun. But you go for the sure thing, pays out a lot of the time. A lot of yeah. the time. Emphasis on a lot. Not all the time. Those who know. He's going to caves. Mm. I don't know what he's thinking here. You think I'm like, just like things in the first three levels? Things in the first five levels? Make Strong Kong somewhere else? Maybe? I mean, there's nothing for Feather here. I... Hmm. They might be thinking that Bongo also be is just hinting to something that they need. Hmm. Well, this this uh rocket barrel that got pulled out of the uh, the DK igloo is not actually looking ye needed. So yeah, he's clearing out the igloo, but he may not find anything here. It's hard to say. Okay, so here comes what is this? This was out of this cabin. This was uh. This is Baboon Balloon. It's a balloon. Oh, wow. Well, that's kind of useless. I guess this is the... Oh, gosh. This is going to be... I guess this kind of tells you you're out of logic for homing ammo, so maybe that just, like, saves you some... Saves you some time or something? I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That's not incredible. I still think the play remains get to 60 and go to Helm. Balloon. Wow. Very cool. Wow. Kuiper is at, Kuiper is at 60, so he could do it. Hmm? Did did guitar ever lead us to anything? Uh, we got out of the back of Aztec was oranges. It could ah. be, maybe upper cabin. Did Kuiper look at upper cabin? I don't know if he did. So. The nightmare of Diddy Helm is a possibility, is what I'm hearing. No, it's oh, Diddy's no. room in Helm. Oh my God! Yes. Okay. Upper, ca upper cabin is dead. Did did Danny actually check? Did Danny check the Strong Kong cave? He did, right? We saw him open it. I don't know if he actually did. No, he didn't. That that also shoot. did not get checked. Oh, shoot. So it could be there. Yeah. But I'm like, dude, it's getting like scarily close to that. All right, you're cooking, man. You're cooking real hard. You're cooking harder than I usually cook. Let's be oh, careful. Let's, 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 be, let's be careful when you start putting things in Helm. <laughs> check, <laughs> check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> mm. See people saying mechfish. I uh, don't believe that check exists. So Piper's running back to Aztec. He's like, okay, it's got to be something in Aztec, right? Something guitar locked, like something else. He skipped a fair bit of Aztec, I think. I don't think... Did he do... He might have done the Lama Temple? Maybe he's got Strong Kong now, so he Strong Kong Lama is like... Temple, he just didn't do Strong Kong Cave. Right. I think that's the only thing he hasn't done. And now that Strong Kong is placed... Like, he's affixed firmly in, in the front of his mind, he's gonna have to... <laughs> he can't escape it, and he has to do it immediately. <laughs> or Tiny's Five Door with Feather. He didn't have Feather, so... We know it's junk, but... But where is Punch? Where is Punch? Even I, I if... I think Punch is just behind Triangle. Hmm. You think Punch is gonna be on the, the igloo? It makes a lot of sense. I 
think it's... Hmm. So Mini Monkey is definitely locked by guitar somehow. We don't know for certain how yet. It's not oranges, we don't think. It could be back in the hive. That would be extremely funny, because we don't have sacks. It could be oranges for the hive, which would be unholy. That is... no. But Kuiper cannot escape the lingering fear that Strong Kong has taken the seed over. Which it has, let's be clear. <laughs> let, and, let's be honest. And he's going to the back of Az... he's going to the... the last tunnel in... in Aztec, which is wild. This is a... uncommon check. This is way out of the way. Yeah, oranges for Hive is a little... a little sicko, but it can happen. You need to some way to logically kill enemies in the hive, which comes in the form of saxophone or oranges. One of the two. Oh, it's not there. <sighs> Unlucky. That would have been a that would have been a top meme if it were there. Everything strong Kong. Maybe Thornvine Barn? Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm cooking. Let's calm down. I'm a little surprised we're not seeing Helm. I feel like Helm makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Get some get some information. You have you have information available to you? Oh my god, Danny's going back for this Gasplat that he fell off. Way back in forest. This is like I think Danny That's, might be panicking uh, a little bit. This, if I've never seen it. This is a little this is this is right here. This is we've entered stage one of fear. Like the one check that I forgot, it's gotta be here. It's not. Yeah. Crisis averted. Kuiper also just succumbed to stage one of fear. But hmm. But here we go. Kuiper is going to be our first into castle. This is a... Whew, this is a bold move. What is in castle? Really? What do we got going on here? We got a little punch action in castle. Oh, we got bonked! And somehow, the Kosha did not knock him into the lava. Kuiper lives another day. Very lucky. I'm just surprised we're not seeing Helm hints right now. Yeah, like, I'm stunned that Kuiper has not dumped and gone to get his Gorilla Gun hint. I feel like that makes way too much sense. Yeah. Um, mm, I don't know. It, playing in, too much Switch Sanity or something? No, I think in his position, he's gonna have to, like, casino for punch anyway. He's gonna have to casino for something anyway. He's missing four things still. So, like, in his mind, yeah. it, it makes more sense to just check everything you can, and you'll just naturally get to 60, and then go to your hinted stuff, because you're gonna have to do this, like, sweet, broad, sweep, sweeping checks of stuff anyway. We're living in, yeah, like, the, the we're living in the world of, like, the best possible scenario where your information actually solves your seed, which it could, but I don't think it's likely. <laughs> what does Owl got? I has got nothing. Guitar, uh, great guitar check. Guitar is like a real head scratcher right now. What what is guitar get us? We just cleared out forest. Just second, we come closer to the help did he check. Oh my god! Do not speak oh, it into existence. No. Do not. You know we talked about charge being garbage and Diddy R and D being dead for a while, but uh, Diddy R and D is uh a little scary, a little, a little scary. Oh. Yeah. A little bit scary. I don't think it's the um, Caves of Lobby Guitar. I think that got checked. I think, yeah. yeah, whoever checked the last hint checked that. I can't remember who that was, but they had guitar at that point, I think. Maybe. Danny. Probably. It's well, not rafters. We've seen rafters. Here is the horrifying part about, like, uh, if it does end up being Helm, that's just another nail in Kuiper's coffin. That would be pretty bad. Because Danny's going to head there pretty soon, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't know many guitar checks that are left. Yeah. Or there are there is oranges as well, so when they find mini, it could be triangle in the uh triangle in the hive and then punch there or punch in the hive or something equally ill. Well, no, that doesn't solve it, because it has to be Mini that's locked by... Yeah. It has to be Mini that's locked by, uh... By Guitar, so it yeah, can't be that. Oh. I think oranges are just me. You know what? Who's the mechfish? No! <laughs> that, that exists. 
Okay, Kyber correctly recalling that Castle Surroundings is foolish, so he's not even looking at that. Uh, Danny remembers a melon crate is there and scoops up some health. That is a uh, that is a dev tech right there. Checking your melon crates, very important. Not, not so much in 2.0. All right, all right, Chad. Let's place your bets now. Let's let's get an informal pull rolling. You have to place a very important item that is guitar locked. Is it one in helm? One if it's in helm. Two if it's on the mechfish. Three if it's literally anywhere else, anywhere at all. <laughs> Who knows? That is not a lot of threes when that is by a lot by a lot the most likely location. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We believe. We believe in the mechfish and or helm. <laughs> and Kuiper is at last dumping his blueprints. He needs his gorilla gun information. He's gonna get it and just like run straight to it, I think. So he'll be back in the game. Minus Hunky Chunky, which is pretty bad. You know, Danny. Danny kinda... dumped already? Danny is not dumped. He could go to helm, but is not. He's doing yeah. the he's doing the think dance right now. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patented. He's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? He may have decided he has enough blueprints marked on his tracker that he could dump to get to 16 and go to Helm. And it looks like that's what he's doing. Somehow, they're both dumping blueprints at the same time. Isn't that incredible? And yet, they're at very different points in their thought process. <laughs> yeah, Kuiper's casino for Hunky Chunky is going to be real bad. He's going to have to, like, luck out. He might think, like, oh, I should go to Galleon and clean it out because I have so few things left there I can just, like get rid of it forever, but, oh boy, this is rough, this is real rough. Yeah, there's no real correct decision whenever it comes to casinos, which is the hardest part with them, yeah. because it's like, no matter where you go, it just, it just not be there. Oh my god, all of you who pressed 1 and 2 in chat, by the way, you, you would have, ki you're killing Kuiper by pressing 1 and 2. Because both of those checks, both the Helm and the Mechfish are rocket barrel locked, which would be a total disaster. Like, <laughs> what else is it? Like, R&D, and yeah. then they have to find Chimpy Charge? Like, that's even worse. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. But wherever Triangle is, Triangle also locks one of their two moves. Triangle locks one of Punch or Mini Monkey. So. Yeah. That's good. Kuiper is now running directly towards... Uh directly towards the uh his gorilla gone which is good he has recalled that this vial exists good little grape chip nothing in the back of carmile all good nothing in the back of the prison no problemo oh look a diving mini game i didn't even realize this was a diving mini game when danny did it that is nasty anytime you run into a diving mini game it just like oh, it, it puts diving wait. on the path to helm and it just like turns into a train wreck oh boy Oh, yeah, because that could also delete your information. That typing might be whoa, much chunky. buddy, buddy, buddy. I think that was a violent hey, help. Whoa, whoa, hey! Buddy, oh, he saw it. Oh yeah, buddy, turn around. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> what oh, is? Hold on there, chief. <laughs> Slow thine roll. <laughs> that <is> double take. <laughs> whoa there, buddy. <laughs> What do we got here? Is this punch? I don't think this can be mini. This could be punch. I guess. This could be. Then triangle's guitar. Oh my god, Kuiper's gonna see it too. Right now. Here we go. What is this? Oh, you know, best case in Actually, funniest. Okay, what's the funniest thing this could be? I think charge is the funniest thing this could be. Charge is the funniest, and then if we do have the helm or mech fish, then we have a 100 for sun. Right up there with know, another instrument upgrade. Oh, Sax! What are you doing Sax? there? What? There's no way it's Sax, right? What? I, I, I don't think Sax does anything. Beetle races guitar locked, but any charge. Okay, Galleon with Tiny. Oh. <gasps> this might send Kuiper back. Oh, this wait. might send Kuiper back. Oh my God, it sends him right to it because Hunky Chunky is in a Tiny check. There's no way. Hunky Chunky is in a Tiny check, and Galleon. This might just save Kuiper's bacon if he goes to the two door ship first. If he doesn't, if he goes to like the um, if he goes to to like the um, what call it? The um. 
if he goes to the sub first or something and it's there, game over. Oh, but doesn't that th mean they both need Mini Monkey here? Wait. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, no. The five door ship is yeah. dead. <laughs> what? What is this? There's no way. There's no way! Oh, it's it's so Mini Monkey good. and Helm! It's so good. I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. Flogger needs a raid. <laughs> or not a raid, a raid. That is an unhinted required helm item. Oh no. Oh. That is horrifying for Kuiper. Oh. That's real bad. That is like Kuiper's oh, disaster I... scenario. When does he go God. back there? I think never. I'm he pretty sure. the igloo. Holy! He has to go back to Donkey Igloo to get Rocket Barrel to get his Mini Monkey in Helm of all things. He'll get his Hunky Chunky and Galleon, but like, oh my gosh! Somehow that doesn't save him. Somehow finding a random Hunky Chunky out of absolutely nowhere does not save him. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable because now Danny runs straight to this. The, it's either in the treasure chest or the mechfish, either or the, the treasure chest or the um, the the sub. It doesn't matter which, or the mermaid. It could be the mermaid even. Uh, he has everything for all three of those, so no problems there. He gets his triangle here, and then hopefully he remembers his last way of the horde being Chunky's igloo, the rabbit, the main character having primate punch. Oh, oh. what a seed! <sighs> Oh, this is just savagery. Oh my goodness, what? At the 11th hour, Mini Monkey in Helm turns up Triangle Trample into the treasure chest, and we got the DK wrap! Oh my gosh. This is it. This is the hypest chest. We found it. It's this. It's this right here. We found it, folks. We found the hypest chest. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Kuiper is about to get a green vial out of a tiny check in Galleon that is not triangle. Not triangle, dude. That is cataclysmic. Because this is also yeah. his last thing he can do before he needs Mini Monkey for tiny. So... Maybe he has the metal. I don't know if he has the metal, but I don't think he does. And the five-door ship is foolish, so. It's, it, it's, it like, it's like triple dipped all of the hints that could lead you to um, your rocket barrel check. Yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. That's rough. But, like, oh, my God. <laughs> you still could have skipped Strong Kong. Danny doesn't have Strong Kong! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> Danny has skipped Strong Kong. All right, oh, team. Here, you want to... Kuiper, Kuiper with a look. Kuiper just like... No. He's just like... Oh, it, it, solves so one, it solves one problem, but just creates another one. That is just so unreasonably unfortunate. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. The seed's just deciding that Strong Kong useless. That's all I learned here today. The seed is telling you learn your Strong Kong skips, and also don't ever not skip it. Primate punch on the rabbit. Bang. He's going to hell. Man. Danny's in go mode. He's got everything he needs. This is a seed. <laughs> Holy smokes. Man, if you're Kuiper, I don't know how you ever find Rocket Barrel here. This is brutal. Yeah, I don't even know what the game plan would be at this point. Imagine, though, if Danny just kind of, like, left that file back in the igloo, right? Having even seen it, right? Even the knowledge of having seen it. Even though he didn't even succeed yeah. in the first time he tried to skip Strong Kong, having seen that file was so important. It's kind of one of those cases that re it really highlights the importance in DQ64Randomizer.com of knowledge. Knowledge is power. You have to, if you see something that is almost as good as acquiring it. Almost. It's really strong. 
It's mainly because checks just go so fast in this game. You can see something and then just get it in 30 seconds, even if you missed it. Flies. They they love causing problems. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, okay, fly. You had your fun. It's time to go. The world's strongest fly. It's time to go. Well done. Okay, Rye. Rye, is, this is very important. I have a very important request to you. I need you to click that link that Bound put in chat because I can't look at that right now. And tell me how accurate he is. Or how accurate she is. This is this is not okay. I'm not. Nobody laugh. <laughs> uh, I'm here to confirm. Uh, they're not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Truly, truly, it's cool. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Like that. Dude. I I cannot believe the most brutal part of the seed was that rocket barrel check. <laughs> I, wow. Helm. Helm of all things. I'm shook. Shook. It took a while. I is this our first seed in the tournament that had helm required? I actually don't know if we've had another one. Uh, maybe not. We had maybe not qualifier. We had the qualifier that had uh, was the slam in helm arena? Oh, oh my god! Is there a qual for that? Oh boy! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Get like. A K rule fight with Chunky, and everyone went and goes to be K rule, and then it says, "Hey, go check hideout helm," and then everyone takes the walk of shame back to helm. Yeah. Oh, well, there was. Yeah, that was like the first call, wasn't it? Two times. Something ridiculous like that. I, I, my goodness. This is unbelievable. Welcome to bonus stage. You know what? You liked the bugs so much? How about second bugs? How about ten of them this time? Ten more, yeah! Let's go! Yeah, the, the helm revelation is significantly shocking because it's pretty hard to put, like, required things in helm. It basically has to be something required for K. Rule, exactly. And sure enough, three things for K. Rule were locked behind helm, which is just absolutely ludicrous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Kuiper doing the lobby check of legends. This is, a. Uh, oh my gosh. He's down tremendous. This is, this is, this is, like... Disaster. Welcome to bonus day. Oh, and a stealthy snoop, and it's the 70. Is the 70 the hard one? I don't even remember. They all, they're all hard to me. I'm terrible. I hate these. Maybe Kyber will find something fun for us. There's no yeah, bean. To find there's no. There's no bean to find. We. The bean was found and hinted foolish dead in the first five minutes of the seed, so... Fun. You could still find Jimmy Charge for us, so then we could just know where everything is. Yeah, there we go. Is that really our last thing we don't know? Oh my god, it is. Uh, super duper slam as well. Super duper. Sheesh. <laughs> Might be in Castle. Oh no, wait, he cleared out, like, Castle Surroundings, didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah, he checked Castle, didn't he? Oh my god. Yeah. God. Got 
I can't even imagine what I do in Kyber Shoes. This is just like... Th at this point, it's just like, check anything you can think of, which is like, complete disaster. It's like, that's like the worst feeling, it's just like, I don't know, just do anything you can and just like, hope it works. The worst part about it is, no matter what you have to think of right now, you you need a Diddy Vile. I think the only checks for a guitar that he has Welcome left is stage. Mechfish, Helm, and r and I think that's it. I could be wrong, yeah. but... Yeah, you might be right. Or, like, a foolish 5 door chip or something, but, like, yeah. But it's foolish. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's what we did. Check it, find something, and then scream at the dead. There isn't even, like, a guitar, like, minigame that could be confusing. It's just, it's just straight up those checks that are just the absolute worst thing ever. Dang old. Why guitar is so annoying as something to be hinted is because of, like, the back of Aztec and how much he walked back there. I guess but oranges... it wasn't there. Did he check Tiny's Cabin? Because it could be the, the oranges that got your guitar could be something good. Oh yeah, he just got Sax, didn't he? Yeah, and Sax was like in the, in the hell lobby of all things. Oh my god. Yeah, like imagine it's Sax in hell lobby to go get Rocket Barrel to then go back to Helm. That would be insane. Thank goodness it's not bad. Whew. Wow, this was a slow cook seed. This seed was looking all over the place for a while, and then looking real bad for a while, and then just at the 11th hour, Mini Monkey and Helm was our salvation. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. How does it keep happening? How do we keep getting insane seeds in this tournament? This is a pretty, pretty thoroughly insane one. Very, e very easy to miss. A any part of this path. You could have missed, like, Strong Kong for a while. <laughs> yeah, you could have missed Strong Kong for a while. You could have missed Strong Kong the whole while. Yeah. <laughs> you could have missed Feather for a while. You could have missed Rocket Barrel for a while. Uh, what else did they need they might have skipped? Uh, you could have missed Hunky Chunky for a while. Just... So many items for the seed as well. If that triangle, like, if that triangle was mini locked in like caves or something, that hunky chunky is never getting found by Kuiper either. Like, that is yeah. a total disaster. <laughs> like, somehow the triangle was in a fortunate position for him, despite the fact that it was in a disastrous scenario. Yeah. He ate for Danny. He's got Helm to clear. What do we got for Helm? We, or K rule rather. We've got Chunky Lanky Tiny. Oh god. He got the auto scroller of destiny. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the oh, auto no, scroll up here. Yeah, these three, anytime it's a race scenario, I feel like it just stresses anyone out. Because it's such a long set of fights. Shouts to a one slam being hinted, and it was only one slam. Your other slam is slam on somewhere. Which I suppose isn't massively surprising, because Slam got you... Blast on the hillside, Blast got you... Okay, no, it was a garbage buy on the seal. God, I can't believe... I can't believe there was bait on the seal, that's just another piece of the puzzle. Oh no, but Blast got you homing in caves, which got you... Balloon in the cabins, which got you... Guitar in the treasure room. Oh, it actually could just be Guitar Locked for your Slam. That guitar is Slam Locked, oh my god! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's scary. We gotta break the targets. There you go. Wait, there's no way Kuiper didn't check the counting game. Wow. Oh, the back Where are the people? Oh, he, he tried to backflip, but then. Oh! Uh. Uh. Chunky backflip choking the world record. Oh, that's a classic. <laughs> you hate to see you. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna add, like, three times the stress to your run. That is... Yeah, oh that's my the worst. gosh, he's going for it again. And he hasn't even done Tiny Phase yet, so he's gotta cook with that. 
He's got he's got a stew with the knowledge of having just backflip choked the world record. Oh no. <laughs> Oh boy. Piper uh, running to the piano game and he's already checked. Uh, yeah, this is uh his lights out. Oh, he's getting he's getting a medal here. Oh boy. I don't even know. I don't even know. I Piper in the depths of despair. Danny at 150 BPM. The dichotomy of man. <laughs> I don't know what charge is. I've seen all these vials. What charge? Who's the other slam? I know. Considering how much stuff is slam locked, now that I realize that guitar is slam locked, but. That slam actually could be anywhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> it could be mini locked. It could be punch locked. It could be triangle locked. Rocket barrel locked. Like, oh boy. Oh no, not rocket barrel locked. Guys, we just put charge on Mechfish, and then R and D can hold slam. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> right. N nobody let this man touch Plando. Oh my. <laughs> Let me cook, all right? Nobody complain about my cooking. We're cooking at the end of the seed. It's it's time to get crazy, right? It's time to get wild. Piper is in big thing mode. He going back to hell? Maybe he thinks he like misread the hint or something. Oh, I boy. think he's going to check the sax pad here. Oh, this. Yeah. Adderall is foolish. Does not pound the eggs. Oh boy. It's very much at this point just like check, 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 check until you find something. He is going towards caves. There's only so many things you can find in caves. Right, the one thing he needs is there, though. Yeah. That's a hard sell. I mean, even with all these cabins, it's uh, freaky. A diddy fit or a lanky phase to go for, for Danny to advance in the bracket to top four loser semifinals. Ow. What a run. What a run. What a crazy run by Danny. And it's not over yet. It is not over yet. He is going to get the winner of the coming match on Wednesday. Camerson Tudos face off on this very stream. If you want to see more DK64 animation.com action, you want to be there. You will not want to miss it. It'll be great. And he's on his last, his last banana peel. Here he comes. Just one slip away. And that is GG. He takes it with a time of, a race time time of two minutes, or two hours, nine minutes, and seven seconds. He's done. Well done. We're going to try and cry these guys for an interview. And see what we can do. What an absolutely brutal seed. I'm going to see if we can find these guys and see if they have uh, some choice words to say on, on this seed. Just a light two-hour, nine-minute jet seed, no big deal. It's fine. You know who's going to have a lot of words to say on the seed? Kuiper's going to have a lot of words to say on the seed. Let's go grab him. Yeah. Let me grab him. 
There we go. Maybe Discord gave me a moment or something. What's going on, Kyber? You're uh, you're muted if you are uh, swearing profusely. I understand. I understand entirely. Deep commentary. You are still muted. We'll catch him at some point. He's still gonna track down Danny at some point, wherever he is. He's off celebrating yeah. victory. Party. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he immediately hit the fridge and just pounded back a couple beers to forget about this seed. <laughs> Hold on, I can't hear you guys. Give me a sec. Okay. I don't know why I responded, he can't hear me. All good. There we go. Okay, Very now fine. I can hear you. Sorry. Ah, well, excellent. How are you doing, Kyber? Oh, uh, what's going on? Are you are you okay, man? Are you okay? Oh uh, no, I'm 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 on. I was saying like on the I'm not even really upset. <laughs> I mean that seed was just awful. Yep, and we just um, found Danny. So uh, congratulations to Danny. GGs to you both. On <laughs> what a seed that was. <laughs> Yeah, GG, Danny, that was, um, I, when you, uh, obviously, I, I do know now where everything is. I know the, the error of my ways. Um, Danny, when you told me where Rocket Barrel was, uh, I was literally walking into caves to go get it out of the, uh, the donkey igloo. So, first of all, GG's. Uh, did you just not check that at the beginning of the game? No. With Bongo's so, hit, hinted right away? So, I'll, I'll admit, I don't check that unless I know I can get the item in there. <laughs> yeah. Because I am awful at trying to get through that room. So, unless I have, like, Strong Kong or PTT, I don't even check it most of the time. And I feel like, had I not gotten um, Baboon Balloon off of the cabins check that involved bongos yeah. i feel like i probably would have that was the single thing i think that owned me the hardest was getting that baboon balloon which i automatically was like okay this is for the treasure room like it's all just leading into okay it's right. the baboon balloon check on the treasure room and once i got guitar there because I think I did that fairly soon afterwards. Um, it just, I, I just completely just tunnel visioned on it. It was like, all right, I'm going to do all of the back of Aztec. I'm going to do everything I can think of that is guitar related. And the only thing that got me was oranges. So then I like right. went back into caves to do the Diddy cabin check with oranges. And I that was that too. nothing. Yep. Yeah. So it yeah. Was so just... we got nothing from guitar, which was kind of why I was suspicious. And I also got, I tried to get rocket barrel right away, failed like three or four times and just decided like, all right, I'll just come back later when we're going to get strong con. Well, critically, really easily. Critically, your, and, your, uh, your attempts at getting it, let you see that it was a red vial. So you knew something right. was there and you had to come back right. for it. So like skipping right. it completely means you get no information, but even like just seeing the check is there's some value there. I definitely felt really good about like my early game. Um, my like I felt my terrible game. about my early game. I felt it, see I was the opposite. I felt really good about the early game. I I felt really like I when I finally got into like uh, forest like my small banana routing. I was like that felt great. Like, I thought that was yeah. awesome, like, you had, how I routed that. You had really good routing uh, in the forest. I liked your quit out of factory to go get uh, the peanuts in the shop and then return to factory, except for the bit where you didn't go buy Lanky immediately. I'm not sure what uh, possessed you. Yeah, so the reason for well, that I did the was... the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I just... My general feeling is just, like, I didn't need Lanky for anything just yet. So I was like, I know where he is. If I either see his face in a shop or, like... I know that I have to go to Forest to get, like, whatever it is on the Zinger Bounce. But I was like, that's probably just vine swinging. Like, it's prob that's probably what mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I don't, f I didn't really feel super inclined to go get him. Um, I don't think it really affected anything. I definitely think I probably could have been more efficient in, like, in my Forest routing had I gotten Lanky. But, e like, 
without a doubt, the most, like, <laughs> the most punishing thing was just, like, all right, bongos, yeah, sure, it's probably just for Helm, but, like, let me check the bongo stuff in caves, and, of course, I get an item that right. I guess, <laughs> theoretically, I wasn't incorrect in assuming that it was for guitar because you do need guitar to get mini monkey mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, it yeah. also simultaneously led you to rocket barrel which just that was a blind spot that i was i was I, when i tell you danny i was like i had three levels full cleared before i went back to caves i'm not exaggerating <laughs> i think the, yeah a lot oh go ahead Lorak. i think your big problem was the crusher room actually because the Crusher Room giving you Feather gives you an enormous amount of information. It basically outright tells you that Strong Kong is an R&D. Uh, that Strong Kong is, right. like, way of the Horde. And then Feather also got you, like, a bunch of really good stuff. Like, Feather got you Gorilla Gone really early. So, like, you had to essentially dig up Feather from your hints at, like, the last second. Remember that Key 5 was Feather Locked, which is, like, really hard to do. I don't know if you did that or if you did Factory randomly. Oh, no, um, I did that. I, I, yeah. I knew that once I... I basically was like, oh, man, this this key five thing, because you can piece it together because of the the mini game that's on the ponytail twirl barrel in in production. Like that requires PTT and Featherbow logically. Mm -hmm. So once I got PTT from, I can't remember where I got PTT from, but somewhere random. I was like, oh, okay, R and something in R and D is going to give me Featherbow. But then once I got oranges. I was like, well, now I don't want Featherbow. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking that, like, the oranges you got in the back of Aztec, it was like, oh, wait, that might actually be, like, the worst thing Kuiper could have found. <laughs> right. Like, I didn't I didn't want it anymore. So I was like, I can beat K. Rule now if I find Mini Monkey, but then, then I never did. So... And then... <laughs> and then... But, like, yeah, was, logic have... for me, that scene just, like, went completely out the window, because... I never found Strong Kong. I never found Homing, which apparently was on Blast, which I also yes. never found. And I had like gotten guitar before I had ever gotten balloon. And so it was it was really all over the place. I really just kind of like didn't know exactly what to like pursue once we kind of went through our way of the hordes and it got to that point where you were at too, where it was like, okay, we need mini, we need triangle, and we need punch. And I was just like, well, I might as Chunky's first in Helm. I might as well go, like, figure out exactly where that is. And mm -hmm. then also one got baited by Sax in Helm Lobby. We were kind of was not needed. We were kind of discussing the merits of diving Helm instantly. Like, there's some merits to it. I, I'm kind of a fan of, if you can get into Helm and get any amount of information, you should do it. Just dump whatever blueprints you have at your earliest opportunity to get your information. But there's some merit to it when you're missing four moves that, like, you may as well just search the rest of the game and get to 60 holistically while you're on the hunt. It just so happened that they were all linked from Helm, except for the Hunky Chunky, which was also in a very fortuitous location. I think, uh... That, Danny, that Danny found that. Danny found that on his first visit by being thorough in Galleon. Uh, Kuiper, you uh, you had, you got a little bit lucky with that. <laughs> with that that was chunky. the most. That was the most. That was the number one move in my mind. I was like, if, out of any of the moves that I need right now, this is the one that I really hope is not it. I'm like, because if it's punch, cool. Maybe I can like, you know, there's, there's a ton of checks locked behind punch, right? I was like, if it's triangle, cool. That's gonna lead me to something else. If it's mini monkey, cool, whatever. I was like, if this is hunky chunky, I'm, I'm gonna be so disappointed. And uh, of course, of course, it, that's what it was. I was once I saw the vial, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be triangle. This makes total sense. Yeah, what's because um, we knew where hunky chunky was. That made the helm hint just hit different. It was so funny. <laughs> it was like, no way. <laughs> Right, because diving was the mill thing that led to Chunky. And yeah, got which is... Old punch, or Triangle, which got you Punch, and it got you uh, Hunky. Your only path to Chunky K. Rule is diving. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is just... Uh, it's a, and it's not even like... I, I would have I would have preferred more hints for Tiny Face that would have yeah. pointed you more... 
at where like helm to tiny well, face the guitar was really good like you guys cleared the whole game of guitar and we were thinking like at the end of the at the end of the road it was helm or like the mech fish and that was like it <laughs> which is horrifying yeah and it was that was true i even it's funny because when i dipped helm because that's what i was doing i was like here's what i'm gonna do here's my play i was like i'm gonna get to 60 i'm gonna go get whatever this move is in the beginning of japes because i was like the only thing that could like change what I'm doing at all right now is if this is triangle itself. So I was like, so I'm just, let me go get this first. And then it ended up being Gorilla Gone. So I guess that saved me time as opposed to like warping up and getting the hint. But then when I went in, I like, I read the triangle hand. I'm like, dope. I probably can't get this. And then I even had the thought of like, let me just check the tiny and lanky rooms. The <laughs> one room I couldn't check because I did yeah. I literally did it. I did the same thing. I was like, I'm going to go in and check these rooms, but I couldn't check, um, you know, I couldn't check the, the, the Diddy room because I didn't have rockets. And then basically from there, it was just like, all right, it, it's just a casino for Rocket Barrel. Let me just start full clear in this place. Um, yeah, let's do I, the, uh, the sax and helm lobby completely random. That was so funny when we you pop open Gorilla Gun. It's like, all right, time to go into helm and get information. You look at the barrel on the side. There's a file there. All right, hold up, turn around. <laughs> turn yeah. around. Skirt! I, yeah. I, did a, yeah. I did a very little, like, huh. All right, okay, I'm going to go over here now. That's pretty um, good. Yeah. Right, we take those. That was, that was, that was pretty cute. Um, <laughs> yeah, honestly, I am I am way less, like, tilted and upset than I thought I'd be, simply because, like, I don't know. Like, th this was just a seed that, you know, it's so funny because it comes full circle because... I've obviously I've been playing this rando for a really long time and I was the one I I I, I want to say I was the one but like I was the person that was getting uh ripped by C Fox because I couldn't do the igloo room <laughs> so the so the strong kong barrel got put in that room <laughs> potentially because of me <laughs> complaining <laughs> And then justifiably I, so. Let's be clear. This isn't like a very funny thing. This is like that room deserves a strong Kong barrel because it is just very toxic otherwise. <laughs> right. But like the fact that it it ends up coming full circle to me refusing <laughs> to do the room <laughs> until I have the strong Kong ends up being the thing that like knocks me out of the tournament. It's just so funny because like I don't know. I just I, things come full circle like that. That's awesome. But um. There was a point I got to that point where I was like, once it crossed over like the two hour mark, I'm looking at the race room. I'm like, oh, Danny, can you please just finish, please? <laughs> yeah, I want to be free. I mean, I think everyone gets that when you hit the two hour mark. It's like, please get me out of here. I want to be free. I pretty much thought that like the whole race, like I wasn't really playing that well. Like a lot, a lot of execution was like, I was like, okay, you know, I'm just not playing well enough today. But then when I found Mini, I was like. Okay, there's a chance. There's a chance that this is just wasn't found. It wasn't. Yeah. It sure, it sure wasn't. It sure was crazy. Crazy. I think. I also am not. I'm also very not proud of the fact that I did a puff toss fight with two melons and still somehow almost died. Like I think I got down to like three quarters of a melon. <laughs> Yep, that's a uh, puff toss will do that to you. It'll just shred you. But hey, Danny, congrats, man. That's I'm I'm that's awesome. Like I'm so happy that you're you're moving on and uh, thanks, man. You gotta you gotta represent now. I'm you're the person I'm cheering for. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna cheer for Riley. I mean, come on. Absolutely not. Who would do that? <laughs> He's not here. We can talk smack. Yeah, I mean, come on, right? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Thank you guys. Um, this tournament's been awesome. It's been so fun. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm happy to represent the community. I know I'm going to be, you know, we'll talk probably about what's going on, but I'm always proud and happy to represent this rando and this community. You guys are awesome. Um, despite how much crap I give LaRock. <laughs> The pain is returned um, in the form of seeds like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, that's really all. Uh, that's all. That's all I got, really. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll I'll echo that. Thank you guys again for you know putting on all these restreams. Like, I feel like just from the beginning of the tournament, I've 
learned so much just through watching all the VODs and everything. And Kuiper, like, on, ironically, like, I found this rando with you and Spike Vegeta, like, starting to play it and, you know, posting on YouTube and stuff. So it was, uh, it was pretty surreal to somehow make it to this point in the tournament and to be able to, you know, play against you. So that I just thought that was super awesome. Well, hell, man, that's awesome. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know where you found it initially, but, uh, I am going to be, I guess this is, the, the, I'm, I'm assuming I'm okay to do this. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What, what's going on tomorrow, chief? Yeah. So tomorrow, um, Donkey Kong 64 is going to be back on the Games Done Quick channel. Uh, yours truly is going to be doing my setting string, the one I came up, came up with a couple months ago. Um, we're not referring to it as what I initially named it, <laughs> um, given, given the nature of the Games Done Quick channel. So Sky Bills and I have labbed out a name. We're just going to call it Goal Hunter. Um, most of you potentially are familiar with what I normally call it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be on the Games Done Quick channel um, on Sky Bills' show, Random Number Generator. Uh, that is going to be, I think we're going live at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, um, I believe is when the show starts. So, and it's probably going to be going on for about two, two and a half hours if the seed is good to me <laughs> don't worry i'm having it vetted i promise um but yeah so tomorrow we're gonna be on games done quick doing goal hunter i'm doing quotation marks you can't see my hands but i'm doing quotation marks um and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be uh the next big showcase for donkey kong 64 uh until agdq where connor's gonna be doing no levels early huzzah and that will be uh, that will be y'all's entertainment for tomorrow night. And then after that, we got more tourney. We got a Wednesday night matchup. Danny will face the winner of Camerson and Tudos. It is what is that? And yeah, that's gonna be around eight Eastern, so somewhere around like you know start time a little bit twenty minutes after that because of the delay. So eight Eastern, eye your clocks. We're gonna be going live somewhere around then, and uh, we're gonna get our other. Winner of the uh, top six, or the the winner of the uh, losers top six, and they will play in winners semifinals, and then pass that matchup on Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll we'll get some word on uh when winners finals will be scheduled, but that should be coming up within like a week or week and a half or so. When yeah. Riley comes back from the deserted island that he crashed on, yeah, wherever he is, it's like some charity thing. I don't know how dare he. <laughs> um. But yeah, so keep an eye on the Discord, discord.dk64randomizer.com to see when the events are happening. You'll want to be there, or, you know, obviously you want to be there. Duh. All the good Duh. stuff happens in this Discord. It's crazy. It's popping. Uh, you know, if you can't get enough donk, then maybe donk yourself. D just dk64randomizer.com, the classic. Love that place. Correct. Yeah, and uh, we'll catch you all then. Make sure you're all there. Be there or be square. Uh, Thank you, guys. We've arrived at the end. It is time to find a destination. Someone's got to be donking. There's got to be somebody. Yeah. Somebody's always donking. I'm a little, I'm a little, a little leery to send y'all to an async because uh, I don't want that to no spoilers. Oh, I, I see who you were looking at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Um, not seeing any targets. We'll ship y'all off for the night. Uh, thanks for watching, team. Uh, hope you all had a good one watching this one. Be back Wednesday. Be watching GDQ tomorrow, that's for sure. Absolutely doing that. I'll see y'all there. I'll be in the chat. I'll be in the chat laughing at Kuiper. You want to be there everyone, with me? Everyone just come by and laugh at me. <laughs> of course. Of course. Watching some stank. Some, yeah, stank. 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 <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good one. Morning. <laughs>